Welcome back. Uh, I also forgot to say, uh, we've still got goals tonight. Every $500, a big old monster shows up, and every $1,000, we roll a D6, and one of these people goes completely insane. <laughs> Let's end on a high note. Um, there's already a, a, a little bit of money down for a very ridiculous NPC. Yes. Oh and boy. if you guys want to show up for it, it goes in. <clears throat> but you got to show up for it. All right. Let's jump in to the game. The quartet does not truly understand what they have survived. A vast network of caverns used to herd humanity towards an unknown fate. An introduction with a man that should not be. Now forced deeper into the caves, an encounter with a violent reminder of the past. The fighter has fallen. The bard, the barbarian, the thief, and the wizard remain on the path. The path which has led them to a strange, derelict woman. And that is where we pick up with episode five, Through the Looking Glass. We're in this cave, um, this this chamber sort of at the bottom of, the, of this uh, vast cave ne network. The group sort of took these spiral stairs down to the bottom and encountered uh, a real life person named uh, Christian Reitman. It's just an unspoken thing in Los Angeles, you guys, right? You just never know who you're gonna run into and where. You might be at the at a party or at the bottom of a hell cavern and a photographer from your weird preteen past shows up. Like, you just, you never know what's going to happen. Um, he's walking with a limp. He's been stuck at the bottom of this cave, uh, signaling folks with the flash on his camera. And after sort of exchanging some words with him and trying to figure out What's going on? Um, a very strange woman in what looks to be a tattered velvet dress um, has appeared uh, while chewing on an arm. She's tossed down the arm, um, having now discovered a possible new meal. And that is where we will pick up. Mm. Christian, did you bring me some new friends? You working for her? Me, no, man. She just, she, she just keeps me down here. Anytime I try to go back up, she just pulls me back down. She just. Fucking, How long you been down here, dude? I don't, man. A couple of days. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. But like a, a minute. I, I was in. I made a break for it. And this is about as far as I got. I was with a couple other people. That's one of them. She kind of like, she's listening. She's just sort of sitting and listening, and she sort of uh, leans back down just a little bit and waves the hand back. I don't like that. Tosses oh. it back down on the ground. Hmm. Well, you smell interesting. He's been sweating all day. It's a hot. I worked in the taco truck. We also had to walk a really. Long way. And yeah, I, have, I haven't had time to re deodorize. And he's bleeding a lot. Oh. I mean, to be fair, we were in Man, a. Con are you serious? Are you serious right now? Got That's what stood out to me. Are you as serious, well, 1920s? Gotcha. What? <laughs> Who'd it's you get? Um, it's <laughs> uh, I tricked her. Just really high quality ketchup. I say Yeah, I, got, I work in a, in a gumbo based taco truck. This is Spanish rice and hot sauce. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to ask you to roll. <laughs> Couldn't run into that photographer at the local sunglasses <laughs> bodega if we had to run into him down here. <laughs> Will you please roll your persuade? <laughs> persuade? Oh, man. Uh, where is... <laughs> ah, actually, it's pretty good. Yours is pretty That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Do we have any rerolls? Just think I'm going to ask right now. We do, I think. Oh. We have four. He's gonna we need have four. four. So far. We have okay. four rerolls. All right, all right. Fuck! I need it. I'm taking one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shit! Come on, come on, white. Come on, white die. Seven. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby! You rolled a seven. Roll a yeah. seven, and my persuasion is seventy. What kind of sauce? It is hot sauce with Spanish rice. I run a gumbo taco truck. 
Well, then I'll start with your friend. And she just sort <gasps> of beelines straight for Keaton. Uh, not like running or charging, but she's just sort of moving swiftly uh, across I this cavern hall. I want to take Christian Reitman's camera and point it directly at her, ensuring that the flash is on, and take a photo. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it says no memory card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll still flash. I know I will. <laughs> That's all I care about is the flash. Roll your... I assume it's a digital camera. <laughs> Does she do like the yeah. fast forward kind of run yeah, or roll the your, slide run? Yeah. Alice, roll your computer <laughs> use for me. The well, Apex either slide. that or electronics, I would think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm hoping it's that slide. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is a 53, so that is a success either way. Okay. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I, uh, I just, like, as I see that she's, like, slowly focused yes. on Keaton and making her way that way, I just grab the camera off Ooh. of him and... It's sort of a tat, like, he has the strap on and everything, so you've also, like, dragged right. Christian he, he over with you. Him last week. Right, hoping that <laughs> Christian maybe yeah. uh, got her attention a little bit as well, and I, mm -hmm. like, or walk directly behind Keaton and flash the camera in her eyes. Okay, great. Uh, so you, you, you flashed the whole, everyone the, takes sort of a, a hit from this, if you will. There's just this blue okay. flash of light. No, no damage or anything, but there's definitely a moment where, I mean, you've been <laughs> in like pitch darkness, more or less. Your eyes had sort of done their yeah. best to adjust mm -hmm. to that. And all of a sudden, just this camera flash goes off in everyone's uh, midst. Um, oh, oh. Uh, so as <laughs> you, your eyes sort of shut, as like that, yeah. that flash kind of comes through, uh, and, but through that, you do hear this like hiss almost. Um, and as your eyes start to adjust, uh, you see that this woman has like actually sort of turned her head away. And as she sort of leans down and turns her head away, you also see that like um, sort of at a difference, she's uh, at a distance, she seems very sort of immaculate and put together. But as her he head sort of goes down, you see that her long black hair is like thinning in places. Cool. There's bald patches. Uh, you know, on top, on top of her head as her hair sort of is like stringing off of her face and she sort of like looks back up and as she's closer now, um, uh, you start to see that the, her eyes are almost completely uh, milky white. Uh, and this slowed uh, her down, uh, but it also definitely has pissed her off. Sure. And you're sort of still yeah. in that line of charge along with Keaton. Mm -hmm. And at this point, uh, uh, the lady... Um, makes her charge. Now this this room, because like we came into it last week, yeah. is it almost like like uh, entrance to here? Because I believe she said there were mirrors, right? Were there mirrors in this room for yeah. her or something? They're uh, in the, uh, the way Christian described it, they're in the chamber beyond. Okay, so is this like so, almost like a circular room? Like the only yes. way out is the a, way we came in? There's the way there, you guys came a, in. You and You can go deeper in, right? Yes, okay. and then there's a, there's a room okay. deeper in, but right. she's sort of between you and that. Cool. Okay. Want to try and go for that deeper exactly. room? Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, and as she uh, rushes, I'm going to do a quick dexterity check with everyone. Jake. Oh, boy. Uh, or just uh, tell me what it is. Oh, uh, 45. 45. That's right. I should have this memorized by now. Keaton. 65. Alice. 70. Agile. And 85, right? Yes. Got you Ooh. <laughs> Dorothy's got a plan. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Dorothy, you know, could do plan. gymnastics to the other room. <laughs> oh, there's going to be some flipping. Charlie's and Angels. I hope so. Okay. I need a yellow uh, So as this woman just sort of breaks into a, this sort of angry uh, charge, um, just this guttural roar sort of emanating uh, uh, from her mouth, you see her her teeth bared, and you actually, uh, for the first time, see these like long, kind of nasty fangs. They're kind of the only teeth left in her mouth that aren't Ugh. just completely screwed up or broken Ugh. or janky. As she uh, as she charges towards you guys, um, and we start with Dorothy. What do you want to do? She's charging towards us. She's uh, specifically towards uh, Keaton. Else. Yeah. Um, and we're in this room. Is there anything? In the room. Oh, I still have my uh, <laughs> pistol. Yes, you do. I want to uh, throw it at her. I want to throw it at her. There's still bullets in there. What are you doing? Because <laughs> I'm not a good shot. 
<laughs> but you can throw things. That's fair. But I am okay. throwing things. Yeah, what, what items Emotional. do we have right now? You have the pistol. You have two coats rifle. I do, yeah. So I got lighter. I have nothing. Well, you have the camera. The camera. Oh, the camera. <laughs> yeah, yes. You can, yeah, that's pretty weighty. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And okay. my throw is pretty good. I don't think of any of us have like little wood things that we can I know. <laughs> make steaks real fast. <laughs> you can crack right? a, Anybody have just take, a bag of dice? How or long like would it take to uh, grow a tree? You can <laughs> take just a, a, a roll for, for nature. Okay, um, so you are flinging a gun uh, <laughs> at, at this at this woman as hard as you can. So go ahead and roll your throw. Are there like chairs or anything what's in this, this room? Phone, like wooden chairs? What's this phone called? This? Yeah. 37. Uh, is the humorous? Do we have any Maybe. rerolls? The we humorous is have this. Do we have three more? Two. Well, no, I think we got a couple more. We have mm -hmm. 10 rerolls. Ten. Okay, I'm going to take one. Yes. This is good. What's 61. 61. Okay, I'm going to do I'm gonna do another one. I'm going to get this. No, it's your leg. Femur's in your leg. I don't know, yeah, dude. femur's in your leg. 52. We'll do one. We'll do one more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one more. 20. Take, last episode, go with it. <laughs> go, take those rerolls. Go for it. <laughs> It's a 63. All right, so I miss. Okay. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you sort of, you take a minute, you look at the gun. There's a moment where you're like, what if these guns are different than my guns? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot might have changed in a couple years. So instead, you go the tried and true. You sort of just wing this thing. <laughs> and it kind of flies harmlessly uh, past her uh, from behind. You don't actually see it. Um, uh, she doesn't actually see it go by. You you kind of hear it clang on the other side of the chamber because you really kind of hefted this thing at her pretty hard, right. uh, kind of mm -hmm. hoping for a headshot here. But it sort of sails harmlessly uh, uh, behind her, which brings us to Alice. Okay. Uh, so I want to try and, like, make – I want to try and sneak to where the door is to get out of here, to go further into the chamber. Okay. If that's possible. Sure. Let's roll your... I just sort of want to secure yeah. my advantage point from there. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Go ahead and uh, let's roll your stealth okay. and see what happens. My stealth is not bad. Uh, 17. That is a success. Okay. So <laughs> here's how this is going to kind of work. Mm -hmm. uh, she's... Because uh, you're, you're sort of... In eye shot, you're standing right. kind of behind Keaton, Keaton almost, right. but you shove Christian forward. Yeah. Just enough Perfect. that you kind of use that to sort of double back and follow along the wall the, mm -hmm. so that she's almost focusing more on Christian and then Keaton. But you are successfully, she hasn't seemed to notice that but you're tearing off yeah. from the main group. And I yet. left the camera on him because I really want to keep that blame on him. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you're, you're sort of making your way. Yeah. Uh, uh, along the wall, mm -hmm. she is still um, uh, very gradually <laughs> preparing to uh, to murder Keaton. And Keaton, it's your turn. I want to take the um, the my gun, and I want mm -hmm. to smack her in her snag snaggle teeth. <laughs> okay. Just, like, like so you, you've got the right rifle. Back. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Because they're very brittle. They're just like, like yeah. Just like, bah. Roll your fighting <laughs> brawl. Fighting brawl. That's 25. That's oh, that's a good. <laughs> I will take a reroll. <laughs> that is a 63. I have 25. That is a 15. Ooh. Ooh. Take that, snaggle teeth. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you sort of, uh, you sort of uh, hanging onto the barrel of this rifle. You just sort of take the step up and swing at her. Uh, like it's a bat. Um, she rolled a one uh, oh, on, no! her, on her dodge. So uh, this, the way this is sort of going to play out is you what? you take your swing. She's able to kind of stop herself and uh, uh, very swiftly, uh, almost inhumanly so, uh, sort of stops herself with one foot and sort of pushes her weight back as the gun just sort of passes the side of her head, but now she's sort of just engaged in dealing with you. Like you're sort of uh, the the success of this thing is now you're just kind of like you've got her on the defensive a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're jutting this thing, you're taking swings, and she's backing up a little bit, okay. sort of trying to figure out what she what it is she wants yeah. to do with you. Uh, Jake, cool. So she's distracted right now by Keaton. Yes. Cool. 
Okay, so my treasured possession is a family heirloom. It's the hood ornament of a 1926 Packard Twin Six Roadster. I wear it as a big gaudy necklace. I want to jump on her back, rip it off, and just you know, start stabbing her in the neck. You know the one we introduced in the first episode? <laughs> it's on my character sheet! I know, I put it there. I put it there. Um, so awesome. was my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you trying to do? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take it off. Try to jump on her back because it's that. It's that kind of like hood ornament guy character. It yes. just starts stabbing her. Okay. In the yeah. 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 Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Roll your. Uh, yeah. Roll your fighting brawl. <sighs> oh, it's okay. It's not. Oh actually, God. it's right in the middle. It's 50. It's right, it's right in the, in the center. You got this. Yes. 22. 22. 22. He got it. She's gonna roll like a four. <laughs> Damn it. This bitch. <laughs> Okay, so uh, 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 teamwork makes the dream work. As she's, as Keaton is uh, swinging uh, this rifle at this woman, making her sort of step back and stick and move a little bit, you sort of come up on the side and flank the lady and just drive uh, this ornament sort of right into her neck yes. here. And uh, it, it just jams into her neck. Um, you're able to pull it out a second time. And uh, actually, roll 1d6 for me. Uh, Three. Okay. Um, so you jam this thing into her neck, and she's just she just shrieks oh. um, as you pull it out, and you sort of jam it in a second time, and just there's just uh, a nice little font of blood sort of coming out of this wound you've created in her neck as she's like turns to face you to sort of deal with this new threat. <sighs> Meanwhile, Christian is just hauling ass after Alice and just being like, "Wait the fuck up!" And he's just like hurrying. He sort of sees his oh, way out God. with her, so he's 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 following along. Are we, are we bailing? No. What the fuck? Let's fucking go. You're a coward. I thought I'm a fucking coward. What the fuck? I thought we were fucking dying. I told you there was <laughs> something that you could do. You could have done something then. You better do something now. What the fuck? What are you talking about? You didn't defend me when I was a child. Didn't defend? I could have fucking like gotten you on the cover of Maxim or some shit. Now let's fucking get the <laughs> fuck out. I uh, am going to like physically, even though I'm small, I'm going to block the door with my body and just say to him, do something now. Okay. Power of intimidation. I'm not intimidating. <laughs> Quite little. That adrenaline anger, though. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm true. real angry. You know, Small but mighty. Anger, scrappy. Give me one moment, please. <laughs> While in the background, you're just hearing, someone help me with this fucking thing! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you saw that the camera distracted her before. Either you use it again. So literally, as you are saying that, you get your answer. He just charges directly at you. <laughs> um, I want to just duck. Okay, roll your dodge. To see if he'll like, your dodge. just, you know, yeah. trip over me. Sure, roll your dodge. Okay. Uh, 15! Oh, oh, shit, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, he just is fully planning on trucking right through you. Um, he's clearly sort of made his decision, but at the last second, you just sort of drop into a ball, mm -hmm. and he just head over heels, uh, hits the ground. His his head sort of hits the side of the wall really hard, and he hits the ground, uh, just kind of like moaning and holding his head. And now you sort of see him panicking, uh, kind of just like crawling up. forward. Um, I hope you didn't break your camera. At least it could be useful now. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't think about breaking the camera. Roll, your, roll, dodge. Dodge. <laughs> roll dodge. Roll dodge. Roll dodge for camera. For camera. <laughs> we need that camera. Uh, which brings us to the lady's turn. Uh, she's just been stabbed in the neck and just like screams as she sort of turns and uh, and faces Jake. Here we go. Um, okay. Um I mean, I'm not even going to ask you to roll. Uh, she... Because she got a one or she got a hundred? Because she got a hundred. <laughs> um, yes. uh, so yes. she sort of tries to maneuver around. She's just going straight for your open wound. Yeah. Um, 
to sort of just like be able to like sink her teeth in, but at the angle you have her in, you're almost able to control her by the shoulder as you sort of plunge this thing deeper into her shoulder and almost turn her off to the side. So now, she, like her side is now facing Keaton almost, like she's square to you as you're sort of like turning and like controlling this thing as she's just like hissing at you, just like spittle and and um, and and just not kind of coming out of her nose. And, um, these like milky eyes just like glaring at you, uh, widening so she can like see uh, just a little better because she's clearly adapted to being down here for a very, very long time, which brings us back to Dorothy. I gotta go find my pistol. <laughs> <laughs> fair, that's fair. Roll, uh, roll your spot hidden. Okay. <laughs> Fifty. Oh. My spot hidden is sixty. Heck yeah! Okay, right. so it's pretty. Uh, you <laughs> I got it. <laughs> she didn't throw it very. She actually I just imagine she runs hand. over like her arms are <laughs> loose. <laughs> <laughs> so like, as all of this is going on, like Dorothy just like darts past, like right behind the three of you. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? Where you guys are going? Just like going for the gun. <laughs> Uh, you find it very quickly. You pick it up, and at a quick glance, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. It doesn't look like you screwed it up. Um, what do you want to do? Um. Throwing it again. <laughs> 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 she just keeps throwing. I wanna. I wanna try and talk to her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Hey, lady. Stop. I feel like. I feel like I've got some choice words for her. Okay, some very stern things to say. Yeah. Sure. Are you speaking in English or vampire? <laughs> while she's on the language. While she's on the ground. Okay. I want to. I want to see if I can get some information about where we are. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So he's. Yeah. She's not like quite on the ground, uh, but he's definitely sort of got the advantage. He's just sort of like oh. almost moving her in like this yeah. weird circle. And maybe if I, because I'm good at I'm good at talking, so maybe if I talk to her a little bit too much, she'll get distracted and be even more focused. Sure. What do you want to mm -hmm. say? I wanna say, hey vampire lady, it ain't it ain't no place for two two ladies who are different here. <laughs> I jerk her I jerk the vampire lady's head over Dorothy. So so she's she like listening. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like Thor Ragnarok where she's like <laughs> <laughs> One second. Almost around. Yeah. <laughs> and then I give her a little smack on the face. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm holding her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your <laughs> stealth. <laughs> Do it quick, yeah. like a little. Kid. Roll your persuade. Okay. Dear Lord. Since our intent is to sort of distract and get her talking, yeah, let's roll that. Persuade. Eighty-six. <laughs> what is your? My persuade is ten, which is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> Because my fast talk is whoof off the chart. Oh, wait, you know what? You did. Wait, I apologize. Let's roll your fast talk. That really yeah. is should have. You, you snappy 20s banter and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds fast talky to me. This is 77. And your fast talk is? Yeah, 50. Re -roll. Do we have a roll? Re -roll. Re -roll. We yeah. Go Number again. Roll. Come on. 71. 71. Do something. Go for it. Go for it. You got this. Oh, no. <laughs> what was it? Three zeros. Oh man. That's Roll it again because that's the worst thing again. you can get. Just use it again. It can only go Just up get from lower. Here. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Just get lower than that. Yeah. 63. Okay, that's uh, don't, near don't miss. use that white anymore. Okay, and we are a dad. Swap that out. So you do your best. You sort of, while, while, uh, while she's under uh, Jake's control, you give her a slap. Uh, but at this point, she's almost like a cornered wild animal and doesn't really uh, respond to what you're saying or really even like register that someone's actually trying to use words. Uh, what to speak are to you doing? <laughs> How dare you? Uh, which takes us to Dorothy. Alice. That was Dorothy. Oh, sorry. Which takes us to Alice. Okay, so uh, I'm in this doorway. Uh, can I see from where I am how much further I would need to go down to get to this chamber of mirrors? Like, can I see that ahead of me, or is it like a long hallway? Uh, it. Again, it's 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 another cavern. Um, roll your spot hidden. Okay. Uh, twenty-six. That's a success. Okay. Uh, so it takes you a minute to sort of get your eyes to adjust, mm -hmm. but you, you feel like after maybe mm -hmm. 
maybe about 30, 35 feet or so. That was a very specific amount of feet. Okay. Um, I like multiples of five. Yeah, that's fine. Around like 35 feet or so, like you, you can kind of get the sense that this opens up. Okay. I would like to run ahead and see if I can like be in, if the mirrors are like in that room that's straight ahead. Mm. Oh, so you're trying to like try- see uh, into yeah, the... Yeah, no, I'm, try- I'm trying to run into, I'm going to run into that room and see if there are actually <clears throat> like mirrors in there. Because I, I have a dumb, weird theory. Okay. Uh, oh, so you, you... My favorite kind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you charge sort of into this dark hallway, and as it ends and opens up into this larger chamber, uh, your eyes kind of go wide because this room was not quite what you expected it to be, Uh-oh. and we move to keep. <laughs> oh, no. Um, What's in your purse? <clears throat> I have... Well, I have these really long, um, like Jeffrey Star-looking nails. <laughs> they're just like they're like metal. I believe it. Yeah, and uh, and they have like little like a like a piano like decor on them. And then I go, listen, bitch, it's time to face the music. And then I go, <laughs> perfect. Roll your fighting. You're gonna ball. basketball yeah. wiser. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 what am I rolling? You're fighting brawl. My fighting brawl. Okay, that is. 25. That's not so good. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh, 88. I'm going to try one more. Okay. This was a 100. <laughs> I'll try one more just so it's literally not 100. Yep. <laughs> no, 84. <laughs> Better. Okay, so you are... Uh, <laughs> you're scratching, and you actually are... Like getting to her face because there's not a whole lot. She's still kind of wrestling with Jake. It's just like not doing any. Like it's leaving these like red streaks, red streaks across her her. face. Yeah, honestly, uh, kind of like you definitely have her attention again because you've marred her very, very beautiful face, and uh, she's less than thrilled about that. Um, And that takes us to Jake. Get her, Jake. <laughs> I'm gonna try to convince you of something. Okay. What's in your purse? Uh, and I dump out my purse, <laughs> like very quickly. Is there any liquid or any kind of um, powdery thing or anything? Oh, there's like a perfume bottle that Bless I Bless it! Really get. Okay. Bless the perfume! <laughs> <laughs> Bless it! Bless the Bless liquid! The throw it on her! I throw it. I throw it at her. Uh, like the hardest part Did of her head. Did you bless it? Okay, bless so let's it. <laughs> so let's pause. So let's pause. You want to use your turn to have her take another turn to convince her? Because yeah. every time I've said do something with your purse, she's like, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I am wearing a cross, so I'm like, I yeah, I take I try to bless bless the, bless the perfume. The perfume. Like, ah, ah. It's liquid. <laughs> okay. Basically water. And of course, anybody can just bless liquid. I've blessed fine. it. It's, it's been right. blessed. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just like, <laughs> it's the dogma rule. Yeah. What are you doing with it? Um, now, I, well, I'm going to hand it to him. I'm like, ah, I blessed it. And then, like, put it on. While I'm holding on to her. Roll. Your. It's great. Roll your throw. Straight throw. Oh my god. Oh god, it's not oh no. good. Oh, it's not good. <clears throat> At first I thought he said bust it so we would have glass or something. No! Bless it! Bless it! I'm rerolling. Rerolling. Different. How many, many rerolls do we have? We're, we're burning through. How many do we have? Rerolls. I believe you have four. Let me check. You have five more. Yes. Okay, using one. Using one. Come on, please. Come baby. on, heart of the dice. <laughs> baby, please. Because here's my thing. It's a 20. <laughs> I, my thing is a 20, and I got 47. I'll use one more. One more. Final okay. one. Final I'll one. Leave. Final one. Build it, and then I'll come. Oh. 57. Nope, nope, Darn nope. Darn it. But better. Fudge. <laughs> okay, so you sort of spray the stuff. Again, it hits her, like... It just doesn't do anything. Does it, but it's perfume. It should burn a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she can't Especially feel since anything. I scratched her. Yeah, probably. Her. Especially since I scratched her. It's Super just irritating. It's like a little marks. inconvenient. Like, fair, you don't love fair, it. That's fair. That's fair. Now I got it. Uh, yeah, I she's, not, she's not thrilled, but she's uh, she's less angry with... she. Go, her anger goes from, I'm going to rip out your spine, back to, okay, we're back to ripping out your spine, is kind of how what I'm that causes. I'm glad the spine uh, rippage, has, <laughs> the order has been changed. <laughs> the, the, spine spine the power of Christ <laughs> compels you! The power of Christ compels you! I don't know, she's religious. <laughs> <laughs> she's a vampire! 
Jake, roll your dodge. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. 22, it's all so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 84. That's... I'm not going to use a reroll. I'll use too many. We only have three now. <laughs> okay. Um, 84. Woo so you're spraying this... Uh, this woman perfume, she's oh, no. like snarling uh, at Keaton, and those just like pupilless eyes just turn like fully on you, and her eyes narrow oh, as shit. she like sort of finds the will to just like take control of your hand and pull your hand oh. off of the thing. And as she does that, she just lunges the short distance and buries her teeth. <gasps> Right oh, into no. uh, your your still open uh, wound. Uh, for one damage. Oh. <laughs> for <laughs> for one point That's of damage. So oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so she's uh yeah so she's in she's like tearing at uh, uh at, at your skin and just sort of struggling to sort of like get her her foothold in but right now she sort of has Jake entrapped and he's he's doing his best to sort of fight her off. <laughs> Uh, She's on my bandages! She's on my bandages! <laughs> Which swings us around to Dorothy. Do Dorothy. Okay, so I want to try and distract her and bring her over my way with a big... <laughs> Look how much fun I'm having. <laughs> Alone. I'm having more fun than you. <laughs> I'm, using all, I'm using all your bones in your home. And she'll get... <laughs> using all your bones. <laughs> And she'll have to come my way. Yeah. <laughs> Roll your fast talk. What is she doing? Why is she laughing? <laughs> She's okay, lost okay. it. Okay. Oh my god, she really is nuts. Ooh, 12. 12. Okay, so ex specifically, what are you saying? I'm saying, oh my goodness, look at all these bones. So they're all for me. <laughs> are you I'm also saying. just And you're just like picking up, like, picking up random bones? <laughs> <laughs> for what? <laughs> <laughs> like you're flirting? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm peacocking. <laughs> For whatever reason, she literally just drops Jake to the ground. Oh, no, my bones! <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are her trophies, dude. And just wipes her mouth, ignoring Keaton completely, and just starts stalking towards you. It's successful. It works. No. She's heading your way. No. If I become um, a vampire, I promise I'll try not to kill you if I become a vampire. Oh. Are, do you, are you going to even have control of yourself if you're a vampire? I don't know how the vampire rules work in this world. I'm just going to kill you if you become oh, a vampire. Please don't do it. Please. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll get abs. I'll be romantic. Uh, maybe you can't. I'll get abs. As I'll be she is <laughs> a great stalking towards uh, Dorothy, Keaton, uh, you hear. Uh, a scream from the other side of the chamber. The side where Alice is? Or where, as the side where Alice was. Uh, and you see Christian, uh, you know, his hands are on the wall. He, it looks like he used the side of the cavern to help pull himself up. Uh, but he's screaming in pain. And as you sort of look for a moment, it almost, it, it seems like the wall itself is like dripping down over his arms. And as whatever it is, is dripping, it starts to take on the color of his hands. Mm -hmm. And he's just like screaming. You can kind of see smoke starting to come up off of his hands as he's screaming and yelling and all this weird it's Chris shit Christian? is happening. Yeah, the no. photographer. No. Um, so that's happening uh, as we move back to Alice. Okay, I'm in this other room. Uh, what do I see? So your, your eyes sort of adjust. It's almost hard to see at first because the room actually uh, lights mm -hmm. up a, a, as you enter because for whatever reason, uh, the way light bounces in this room, you can't quite tell where the source is coming from, but just the, the actual limestone is, is much lighter and much brighter in this room. So it's almost like having room light mm -hmm. um, that just isn't carrying through that tunnel for mm -hmm. whatever reason. And as you look around, you're sort of in this another <laughs> circular chamber, smaller. Mm -hmm. um, 
And as you look around, you start to realize that the whole wall, uh, the whole of this chamber is is glassy, almost okay. like a, a com- mm-hmm. the entire mm-hmm. thing is a reflective surface. So and I as you look around, you just see like you're ringed <laughs> by Alice's sort of staring back at you. Okay. Now would be a good time to make good on that whole through the looking glass thing. Could really use something, a weapon to help me save my friends. I guess they're my friends. There doesn't seem to be anybody else left from a crazy vampire lady. Like maybe something that if you roll, like if you're lucky, it instantly beheads things. There's no response from the room. I'm going to walk up to, like, one of my selves. Okay. And, like, put my hand up against the surface to see if I can go. I'm trying to go through the wall. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so, you're in a circular room. Let's do this. Sort of uh, give me a general direction on the clock that you went that you went in. Did you go straight ahead to, straight sort of ahead. to 12 o'clock? Straight ahead to 12 o'clock. Okay. Um... As you put your hand on the wall, you see yourself at first, the cave behind you, and then the image starts to shift almost, uh, almost like a television screen uh, powering on. And through uh, this reflection, you can still see yourself, but now behind you, instead of the cavern with everything around you, you see what looks to be... um, some kind of farm uh, a field Mm. uh, crops it looks it you kind of make out like a simple structure in the distance just a simple home is it night Uh, it's it it looks like it's daytime okay on that side I'm gonna go into the home you're gonna step through Mm mm-hmm okay a moment passes as you're sort of focusing with your hand on the wall. And in that moment, your hand passes through and we're going to cut back to who's next. Um, we're gonna cut back to Keaton. Uh, okay, so um, since- the Photographer getting killed. I know, yeah, yeah, exactly. So since, uh, I mean, we need as many humans as we can get. So I want to go, since um, she's distracted, by um, Dorothy laughing maniacally over there. <laughs> I am gonna go, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, what the hell? And then I run, I run to him and I try to like, pull him backwards away from the wall. Just try to like, get a grip on him from behind and pull him away since the, the wall's sort of absorbing. Yeah, how far set. down did it go? Did it like, yeah. encompass his back or okay. just like his arms? Yeah, so as you're running over, it looks like it's coming down the, the entire surface of the wall, but it's got his arm sort of by the forearm just based on okay. where he's touching it, but that's about as far down on his body uh, okay. as it's gotten. But it's sort of, uh, there's a there's a, there's a few of him worth of it wide, and it's sort of starting to come down uh, towards uh, the bottom uh, of the chamber. Uh, and as you're running up, you can actually just smell like the smell of cooking flesh. Oh, no. Uh, as this guy's arms are just being just it's like destroyed. It's like see through lava. So oh, you're God. trying to you're trying to uh, pull trying, him yeah, away. Pull him, pull, yeah, I'm trying to use my weight backwards to kind of just chug or like tug him away from the from the wall. Okay. Uh, will you roll a strength check for me? Okay. Strength, 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 strength. Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's not too bad. She's a strong girl. Ooh, that's a 58. Oh. That is so mean. <laughs> that is so mean. Okay, I'm going again. Okay. We have a few rerolls. <sighs> I'm going again. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Can I use this one? <laughs> Good trade out the dice. I'd stick with it. He uh, is 61. Okay, so... Um, you're sort of tugging at this guy. Uh, at first, you've got your hands around your waist, and you're trying to pull him off. And it's just—it's almost like this, the, whatever this goo is uh, on the the cavern wall is almost like pulling back. You're having a hard time like pulling this this guy away. Like at one point, you're almost—you've almost got like your your fingers down the waistband of his pants, just like trying to find just any way you can grab 
uh, a hold of this guy. Uh, but it's not quite working. You're sort of just trying okay. to pull, uh, as you sort of try to just continue to pull him back and away. Um, and that moves us to, hey, dude. Welcome, Kim, back Hello. to the table. <laughs> um, well. And ah! that takes us <laughs> to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Jesus Christ! <laughs> what I miss? That takes us to Hi, Jake. Everyone. Um, <laughs> so the, where Alice went, how far am I from like that area of the room? Like not, not, not the mirror room, but like to the room where she initially got the, the, to the, the hall, the hall. Yeah. The conjoined. You're not, you're not far. Like that, that, that's a pretty decent, like you, you could give it an old college jog and, and get into that hall. And lady vampire is pretty distracted right now. Yeah. With, I mean, she was very distracted by She's whatever mad. it is that Dorothy's doing. She wants her to bones back. Give <laughs> me my bones. Playing with uh, the bones. Playing I'm going to try to make my way to that hallway. Okay. Uh, are you trying to, like, sneak away, or are you just trying to just get the hell over there? <laughs> get the hell over there. I've been bit. I'm bleeding everywhere. Where are you going? Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to save Help him. Me. No way, girl. So, Jake. <laughs> he uh, took photos of a kid. <laughs> Out of here. I don't think it was, like, <laughs> I think it was just a job. That will, I don't think it was appropriate. Excuse. No, that's not what I mean. So you sort of, you, you make your way over and you find yourself uh, out of that sort of grand chamber. You're sort of in this hallway now uh, that you now see is, um, you know, maybe like 30 feet down. You're sort of, yeah, yeah. you can sort of see that in the distance there's a larger uh, chamber uh, opening up. Um, so as you sort of find yourself over there, uh, we're holding going my, holding to my neck wound. swing it back. <laughs> yeah, hold, <laughs> holding it. You know what? Actually, oh. yeah, on that turn, thank you for reminding me. Go ahead and roll oh, a constitution man. check. Oh, I yeah. will. I do great with these. You Heck, do, yeah. actually. All right, 64. <laughs> what my the constitution. Heck is your constitution? 70. 70. <laughs> How? I'm very aware. <laughs> <laughs> He's willing so his woke. body. So you, are, you are doing what you've got to do. <laughs> you're, I'm again, you're woozy. <laughs> You're woozy, but you're kind of holding or steadying yourself sort of against the wall. You're still on your feet somehow. I don't know. But Kylo Ren and I'm just going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, kind of, yeah. You're just like punching. <laughs> what? <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Which brings us to the lady. She is walking towards Dorothy. And... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, okay. Dorothy, go ahead and roll your dodge for me. Okay. Oh, no. Or, well, okay. Let's take a look at what's happening. Okay. So, um, yeah, what's her vibe she, coming towards me? <laughs> not pleasant. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, she's, she's stalking towards you, and sort of as she starts to close distance, uh, she takes off sort of in this, in this sudden sprint towards you. Towards me, um, okay. Yeah, so is huh. this, do you want to try to, like, counter this? Do you just want to get the hell out of the way? Uh, yeah, I think I want to try and move out of her way. Okay. So maybe she'll run right into something. Perfect. Then, yeah, go ahead and roll your dodge. 88. I might... Do we have a reroll? Yes. I'm going to do a reroll. Okay. See if you can get her into that burning gelatin. <laughs> yeah, throw her in there. 50. Uh, Sweet uh, it's 42. Speech. How many rerolls do we have? <laughs> We have, I believe, five more. Five yes. More. I'll, do one more. I'll 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 do one more. This is going to be good. Okay. No, that was not good. That is a 92. <laughs> Ooh. That's like you tripped into her. <laughs> <laughs> Yikers. I guess uh, I'll, I can take whatever comes at me. Okay. Of course you can. You're a sturdy, sturdy lady. Um, <laughs> Okay, so here's how this kind of works. Uh, she sprints towards you. You take off to the side. Uh, lots of bones on the ground, <laughs> like we said. A bone catches her on the foot. A bone catches you oh, on the no. foot. Okay. Both of you hit the ground. Okay. And now she's kind of just like crawling and scrabbling towards you, kind of trying to like grab a leg. But that's that's where we uh, that's where we leave that. Okay, not bad. Um. Hoisted by your own bone throwing. <laughs> you know, yeah. they can help me and they can hurt me. <laughs> bones. It all, it all depends. Me and my bones. <laughs> it all depends. Um, uh, so a couple things happen uh, in this moment. Keaton, you're suddenly able to pull uh, Christian, the photographer, <laughs> away from the wall uh, because 
his arms have have pulled free. Mm. Uh, so he free or free? Are they burned? <laughs> so like, burned. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he he comes pulls back uh, at Ooh. you. There's a lot of weird things happening all at once right now. I figured as much. Um, <laughs> this is not normal uh, to us. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so this guy just sort of pulls back uh, with stubs. He's now just sort of gone into shock. You can he, you can feel him shaking. His his, his skin has <laughs> just gone pure white and just sweat uh, is, is dripping. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking no more photos. Face. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he pulls mine. free. Uh, you uh, actually will you please roll your ba -ba -ba, your dex roll against your dexterity please. Okay. My dexterity is 65. I got a 14. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. So as he pulls back, you're able to kind of keep on your feet. You know, you don't like, care. he's a big, pretty big dude, but you're able to sort of like get him sort of down to the point where, you know, you're not falling backwards. You're not tumbling mm -hmm. backwards with like his weight on you or anything like that. You're sort of successfully able to navigate uh, this sudden armless guy uh, that is uh, that is in your hands uh, successfully. Um, awesome. As this goo sort of continues, you now sort of see that there is an endpoint to it. It's not just like a waterfall of goo coming down the side of the cavern, but it is starting to pool um, on the floor of the cavern. And in the, the center of it is actually starting to rise up um, as you're watching it. A couple other things happen. Oh. Got, I, I told you all to come out, and you did. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Get away from the burning goo! Uh. Um, Jake, you are oh, boy. <laughs> sort go. of standing and trying to uh, catch your breath and get a hold of yourself <sighs> when okay. you... Catch glimpse of a light huh? towards uh, down further into the hallway. But as you're watching it, you realize that this isn't like a light from a, from a room it's not like a hallway. that's further down. Yeah, this is literally a light that is just hovering in the middle of the room, starting to get brighter and brighter and glow for a moment. This is a light that you have seen before. And as you sort of see the figure uh, like you have before appearing in the middle of it, two other figures appear on either side of it, and as they sort of start to take form and take shape and take color, the light starts to fade, leaving behind two very attractive red-headed ladies oh. <laughs> oh. Um, in, their, oh. in their 1850s uh, garb, oh. um, who I will rename right now because I don't remember what their names were. <laughs> I think Janelle might have it. Oh, oh, um, oh, 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 oh. I think maybe I missed it. No, I don't have it. Let me see. Nope. Damn it. My yeah. last note from that is nope. like bird door. So <laughs> bird door. Oh, so okay. people are coming back. So one. that light appears and uh, you see these two women sort of in their in their full uh, that you saw in that weird um, <laughs> bar from your very first adventure together through that strange door, uh, those two women uh, appear, and one of them kind of <coughs> looks at you and says, Genevieve, do we know him? Hey, I'm a vampire now. <laughs> You're not! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> it's not true. Say that one more time. I'm a vampire now. <laughs> Still and uh, I really, uh, um, I'm losing a lot of blood here. I'm not feeling well, so I'm just going to lay this on the line. I think the three of us need to go get drinks and figure out what let's talk about tonight. So as you are... Oh, my God! <laughs> sort of as you are um, sort of... Ran, they, they're kind of like listening to you, but also like moving through... Hey, where are you going? <laughs> ...past you, and uh, one of them sort of takes you by the arms and it's just, it just says, you've been through quite a bit, haven't you, love? It's been a real... It's been a real day. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a seat, please. Sit. And she sort of like just sits you down at the corner, looks up at the second one, and um, and and just says, "Let's try to find Lady Wayworth and get back." And as they sort of uh, walk these now, oh god, now who's in the chamber? Okay, Dorothy's in the chamber. Keaton's in the chamber. I'm at um, like a farm or something. At this I don't point, know where you so. are. Cool. Um, oh, right, jacket, ladies. Uh, uh, <laughs> these two. These. Uh, 
two, Keaton, you might remember them from uh, when you guys went through the haunted <laughs> house, but these, these two women uh, sort of walk in, um, see uh, the, the, the lady on the ground sort of uh, scrabbling after and trying to struggle with Dorothy. And they clearly just look upset at, at, at what they see. Um, and one of them actually sighs and just says, in her words, crumbs. But then also in that moment, uh, one of them straight up takes out a crossbow <gasps> and uh, the other one draws a very long sword. What, what the hell? I shouldn't have told them I was a vampire. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> oh my God. Which brings us back to, and we'll get you in at just the precise dramatic moment. What have you been doing without my permission? <laughs> <laughs> it's them. <laughs> I have a very long list of weird things. Um, <laughs> we cut back to Alice, who has split the party in the most stressful way possible. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be he left it dead without it. Alice, you find yourself um, you recognize it pretty well. Los Angeles doesn't exactly have a lot of these, but every now and then you've uh, you've gone out to the valley when it's you know a good ninety degree uh, Halloween in Perfect. Los Angeles, and found yourself in a pumpkin patch, oh. and that is where you find yourself now, in a very large pumpkin patch. The sun is setting. There's a single farmhouse in the distance. Are there any people around? Uh, roll your spot hidden for me. Okay. Uh, do we have any rerolls? We have five. Okay, I'm gonna take one because I rolled a 93, so that's not hard. Uh, 17, that is a success. Okay. As you are sort of scanning mm -hmm. uh, the area, it's a. There's not a really a lot of tall crops in this area. This is no. all gourds and ground plants and stuff like that. But as you sort of are looking ahead to this farmhouse, you've, you, you you get the sense that the you realize you notice that the front door is open and you see movement okay. uh, beyond the door. So you get the sense that no, you are not alone. And as you're sort of you're doing this scan, you look behind you, uh, you don't really see anything. It's just open country. Uh, it's cold. It's cold okay. as hell. You do notice that. Uh, but aside from that movement beyond that door, uh, you don't uh, see anything else. I'm going to follow the movement. Okay. And I, so uh, Alice starts to move towards um, this house. Um, and we will cut back to um, the chamber. Ugh. <laughs> Keaton, you are watching this... Um, goo sort of rise and take shape and it sort of starts to take shape in almost like this uh, triangular uh -huh. form and that triangular form sort of steps out of its own puddle as it takes on sort of the shape of like a small humanoid um, uh, like as, as you're watching it like happen <laughs> yeah kind of <laughs> like it is it is literally almost like T1000ing and I just realized I should have had you all been rolling sanity on like all of your turns but we haven't been doing it um, and sort of as this <laughs> <laughs> tiny tiny T1000 <laughs> as this like tiny just goo thing walks up to you um, the top of it this triangle top of it almost like turns red and Ew. its what? face sort of like uh, these like eyes sort of like these humanoid eyes sort of pop out and the first thing that flashes across your mind as you roll against your sanity for your phobia of gnomes that <gasps> this is a gnome oh my god <sighs> okay oh my god Okay, that's a thirty-three. Your sanity is. It's like it's like ninety or 80, 88 right now. Okay, so it's oh, yeah. in a it's in a good spot. So okay. you pass, you lose one uh, sanity point, and as you're sort of just like watching this thing sort of take shape, it um its head sort of like cranes and looks up at you with like these crazy uh, wild eyes, and uh, it says um it just looks at you and it says, 
I'm looking for my Papa Baba Yaba. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't have any of those for you. <laughs> I just, I just assume it's drugs. <laughs> I'm sorry, gel gnome. <laughs> <laughs> There's a million names for drugs. I assume he's asking me for drugs. What was <laughs> it again? Uh, <laughs> Papa Baba, yeah. Uh, Papa Baba Papa. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Papa Baba Papa. And in that moment, you guys sort of have that exchange back and forth, and all of a sudden, it just gets taller. Like the form just like shoots up even taller and like looks down at you. And JJ Theakston is standing in front of you, and it's just like, "Hey, druggy." <gasps> I'm not a druggie. <laughs> I don't even believe myself when I said that. I'm like, <laughs> 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 I mean. Which takes us <laughs> back around to um, to Dorothy. All right, I'm scrambling with these bones. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. damn bones. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reach for one and try and stab her with a bone. Okay. Uh, it, I'm not going to make you roll because, again, this is a very bone-filled chamber. Okay. Uh, it's not sort of hard to find something right. pretty sharp. You you grasp what sort of seems to be like a pretty decent-sized femur. Yep. And you're trying to stab her? Yeah. That's what we Okay. Do. Go ahead and roll your fighting brawl it's for the femur. me. Okay. Wait, that's the leg. Oh, this is 14. Dang. That is a success. And I go, for two coats, as I stab her. Oh, for two, two coats. Aw, poor two coats. Sweet, sweet two coats. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> she sort of got a good hold on your leg, uh, and you're able to – what was your what was your success? What would you roll? 14. Okay, that's a pretty good roll. Um, you say it. You're able uh, – you sort of sit yourself up, uh, and you're like, for two coats, and you just – jab uh, this thing uh, and it actually the uh, not the side that had the the hood, the ho- the hood ornament, ornament but literally like uh, the other side you sort of this uh, bone just sort of sinks in right behind um, her collarbone Ooh. Ow. Ow. Oh. and for whatever reason you have just you, you have s- struck true and um <clears throat> this bone just pushes oh. like further uh, into uh, her body um, as you push and as you're yelling for two coats and uh, as she's sort of like roaring back at you in pain. You hear the thud of what you don't realize is a crossbow bolt. You may have never heard one before. Whoa. But there's like a, th- a thudding noise as all of a sudden that sh- scream, that defiant roar um, is just cut short as this figure sort of drops uh, and is still. <sighs> Who did that? You sort of look up and uh, one of the two uh, redheaded uh, ladies, one one whose hair is sort of long and down, and one who's is tied back in like a very conservative bun. The one with the very conservative bun <laughs> uh, is the one holding the crossbow. It looks like she's the one that did it. Dang, you, you gals look older than me. Ha ha ha. Tommy Wiseau over here. <laughs> <laughs> we might be. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Who are all of you? Who are you? My name is Genevieve. Uh, and who's the other one? This, she sort of puts her hand up and it's just like, Lauren. I don't trust Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do to That's you? That's not a name someone that old has. <laughs> <laughs> Genevieve's right. Lauren does not. It's the name I was born with. It's mm. the name I've been working with for a while. What's happening here? That lady you just shot? With, or which one shot it again? Uh, Genevieve, the one of course, with the bun. yeah, Genevieve. I'll talk to Genevieve directly. <laughs> Genevieve. <laughs> Looks like we have a vampire on our hands here. We know. Okay, then why'd you ask? And the two of them. Because I don't... <laughs> the true. Because I don't understand what you're down here doing with her. And the two of them sort of walk over. And they're clearly very 
kind of confused, oh, distraught. There's a lot going on with these two that you can't necessarily like read as they sort of crouch down on either side um, of this fallen figure. How is she here? Me or the lady or the vampire? Well, I'm assuming the answers might be similar for all of you. Look, I came here in a flash of light. And I've been trying to get back to that light. So did we. Well, that makes sense. I suppose so. But it doesn't tell us why. It's not every day you appear in a flash of light and find a much older version of your boss gone feral. Your boss? Uh, do you work work for these people? Well, I work for the establishment she owns. Hi, I'm a waitress. Who said that? Genevieve. The one with the bun. Um, a waitress? You deserve mm -hmm. better than that. I say that pretty regularly. I worked at the racetracks. Racetracks? You heard it. Racing what? Horses. You race horses? Yeah. You deserve better too. Touche. <laughs> well, should we? We should check on your friend. I think he's <laughs> dying in the hallway. <laughs> oh no. I can't, lo I, can't, I can't lose another friend. <laughs> and just let me tell you something. Make me this promise. That you, after this all sorts out, you'll come back up there with me and save all those people. <laughs> <laughs> there's more of you? Oh, there's a lot. Promise me this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, Lauren? Yeah. You know what? Hang on. <laughs> Roll your persuade. <laughs> Not your fast oh, talk. Good. Roll your persuade. Okay. It's never good. Uh, uh, it's, it's not a bad fail, though. It's 30? My persuade is 10. Okay. How many rerolls? She kind of gives you a look, <laughs> and she's like, Once we have what's down here figured out, I'll think about it. I'll take it. Um, Off we go. While all that's happening... Uh, uh, the three of you have not noticed that uh, JJ is now sort of down in uh, the chamber. He'll be fine. With you. <clears throat> I'm terrified. <laughs> so uh, what have I missed? Uh, why are why are there vampires here? What are you doing to us? What'd you do to my vampire? And he sort of just start. He just like breaks completely off of you. And as he's walking, he almost he starts to stretch. Um, uh, width-wise, and as he starts to stretch, uh, his body separates as uh, oh. as the two elderly folks that uh, you've been encountering uh, are suddenly flanking him. Bates and Ed Toon are suddenly just sort of walking on either side of him. <sighs> just like, ah, oh. you know, we were old friends. That's not how you treat somebody's old friends. Your old friend tried to kill us. Well, she yeah, you were dinner. I'm not dinner. I'm better than dinner. Oh, okay. You're better than dinner. Sure, 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 sure. <sighs> and he kind of just walks sort of by Dorothy, the two redheads who have also just sort of stopped and they're just eyeing this guy and he crouches next to her and it's just like, not the end I expected for. Eh. Did some of you already get aced? Some of you are gone. Uh, mm. I take a look around and I. Nobody's in here, right? It's just it's just me and, and the. Yeah, uh, Dorothy and uh, the is sort of walking towards the tunnel. Yeah. yeah. Sauntering. <coughs> okay, yeah, you're sort of like sauntering towards the tunnel. <sighs> well, that's a damn shame. Well, I'm gonna stop playing with my food now. Uh, you're gonna die. Um, <gasps> No! I don't want to die! Please! Please, I'll do anything. Please, please. I, I, uh, anything. Anything. Well, that's I, interesting. I Let's make a deal. Let's make a bargain. <gasps> anything means a lot, kid. Well, uh, take, take one of the others. <gasps> 
In place of you? Please. <laughs> okay, sure, but you get to pick. Don't don't make me do that. Don't please, please, just <laughs> You're not in a whole lot of position to bargain here. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Bish, oh. Bish. <laughs> The weirdo, the, sh the one that shouldn't be here. Oh! <laughs> that could be you, you. <laughs> the, I mean, she's not from here anyway. Look me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Look me in my goddamn eye. <laughs> well? What about this guy? And I point to the, the uh, Christian, because he's, he's armless. And <laughs> <laughs> the guy who's like, oh! <laughs> How about him? Maybe let let the other one live. Let let, let the weirdo live and and take this guy. I mean, he's carterized up. He can't even work anyway, right? Hey, drugs, you gamble? Sometimes. And he sort of takes out a coin. And he kind of looks at it for a minute. Heads or tails? Heads, it's uh your friend that doesn't belong, and tails, it's uh the per photographer over here. Oh, oh, snap. Um, tails. But... Tails. <laughs> oh, sorry. And as he just sort of smiles at you... Well... A bet's a bet. Wait, are you gonna tell me what it was? And he looks up at you, and his smile sort of starts to open as his chin starts to drop wider. Oh, oh no, 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 no. And then pulls out from either side as his skin peels back from his head, and I'm going to go ahead and have you roll oh, against shit. your sanity. Shit. Um, Cameron. <laughs> that is a, a... Not good. That is not good. That is a 66. <laughs> Did okay. She turned over 90 in case it might have been 60. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I've done a lot of drugs here. <laughs> so, um, but my, my sanity is, is 89 or 88. Okay. So, so uh, should you guys keep passing these sanity rolls? Uh, you just see been through a lot of this mass of <laughs> mentally. It, it, it almost looks like um, if you've ever seen like a pile of snakes, like in a bucket or at the bottom of a pit or something. You just see like oh, yeah. this mass of coiled oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tendrils, and um, a series of them lash out of this face oh my God. and just uh, engulf Cameron on what? the ground. What? And as Cameron no. starts to get dragged, Christian, Wait, Christian, Christian? Christian. The photographer. Yeah. Oh my God! No, literally, Cameron. Cameron. No. How did I get here? As Christian sort of gets <laughs> pulled <laughs> over, Cameron. the old woman kind of gives you a look I and was just says, for a show and then "I suppose you and your friends should get out of here." I start fucking running towards towards Dorothy. Um, okay. Go 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 go! <laughs> Say, I'll not come back for you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you? You don't know what I did? <laughs> I was I in the room. <laughs> As you uh, sort of run into the hallway, you find yourself uh, with Dorothy. Jake is on the ground. These two oh, oddly dressed uh, redheaded women. Uh, and one of them gives you a look, this woman in a very sort of conservative, very nice, neat looking bun. Um, uh points back into the chamber and, and it's just like, what is that? What's what? That thing. Uh, it's a, a man monster thing that it's trying to kill all of us and he's kind of a dick. <laughs> kind of a dick about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he wants. <laughs> Do you know what he wants? And I kind of grab her like frantically like, well, help. <laughs> why do I have the feeling that he knows what happened to her? And the two women sort of like glance at each mm -hmm. other. And as she reloads uh, a fresh bolt in her crossbow and kind of cranks it, they kind of sigh and she says, let's go ask what he wants. And they sort of leave the hallway and re-enter the chamber, leaving uh, the three of you on your own. 
Um. Did you guys see those two redheads? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorothy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. I promise. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Oh, I've heard it all before. I've heard I it promise. all before. They killed the vampire. Who? They, um. What? They killed the vampire. The oh. woman. Yeah, I should not have told them I was gonna be a vampire. I don't think they believed you. <laughs> further in the what? hall, <laughs> further in the hall, you hear Alice mm -hmm. call out to you. Jake. Oh, that's for me, everybody. All I, right, well, I'll wait till I'm called. Dorothy. All right, my <laughs> turn. <laughs> Keaton. Alice. Did Alice, guys, where are you? You guys help me up. Come this way. Which? Get up! <laughs> it's like, get up! <laughs> we, we don't need help. I've lost a lot of blood! <laughs> God, fine! <laughs> and I help him up. I'm like, this. As you. Are you worried I'm gonna ruin your shirt? Make your way. You took a sleeve. Uh, <laughs> down the hallway into this sort of bizarre chamber of mirrors. You guys see the same thing that Alice had seen that it's just this circle of like reflective surfaces and you see almost like in a, a th 360 just series of reflections of you and standing uh, in the middle of the room is Mona. We're going to cut. Oh. Bugs! <laughs> Bugs! <laughs> Bug demon. Bademon. Bademon. We're going to cut to Forest trail. An owl uh, sitting on a branch, watching a woman walk up the trail. Um, Apollonia Wayworth, you have just sort of escaped uh, a, a weird redneck murder basement, as you remember. You were separated uh, from your friend Florence, and you've been doubling back, making your way back to the train tracks where last you had seen quite a few of your friends. And as you step in, into a clearing, you see the tracks you see the trestle. And you see a light coming from the trestle. It's a covered bridge that, you know, you've sort of learned to be wary of the last, the first time that you walked past it. But you see this light. It starts to glow brighter and brighter and harsher and harsher until it almost completely fills the room. And you see a figure standing inside of it. Is the good doctor with me? You are solo. You are completely alone. And where is he? That you don't know. You left the cabin, on your own. Is he doing what I asked? Like a good boy. I believe so. He's heading back towards the, the entrance of the caves. But you, for now, are on your own. You and this figure. Not anymore, I'm not. And I turn away. As you turn away... Bizarre enough night as it is. You hear a voice. It, it's sort of buzzy at first, almost like it's uh, almost like a, a radio tuning the dial. As you're walking away from it, you sort, it's just sort of this buzzing. It, it, it sounds like a voice. You can't quite make out the words or what it's saying uh, until it sort of it, it comes very sharply into focus and you hear uh, a very familiar voice that just says, Lay Lady Wayworth, 
and you recognize, though very strained, almost like he's under an immense amount of pressure, uh, the voice of your friend, Gordy. Oh. <laughs> well, that was Matt. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Apollonia, listen, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. Time for what? As you sort of... Just grab your flying disc and run. That was a long time ago. Listen, you, I, you, I don't have time for this. I don't have time. And as you sort of are... Uh, well, what are you doing? I'm still walking away. Okay. Um, Apollonia, come on, please. I don't have time for this. There's, not, there's no time. Then explain quickly and it's lady wayworth because i'm not Please. i'm not from he, from here everything goes wrong and everything goes wrong soon and I, I i need you i need you later later to do what can i see him uh are you walking away i stop and i turn and I look at his face and what does he look like it takes a moment for your eyes to sort of adjust to the light um but you see, uh, it's, it's definitely Gordy. He's oh. gray. He's oh. tired looking. <laughs> he looks exhausted and stretched thin and gaunt. Oh my. But it's him. You never did strike it, Rich, did you? Everything goes wrong. I said explain. And uh, he's, he's like... It, we, and please, us, don't be vague. We, I don't have time. He's like, we broke it. I need, I need you to come with me. How did we, who is we, and what did we do? All of us, we break it. We break everything. And where shall I go? Down. Down where? And he kind of like looks down at the <laughs> ground below you. But not now. Apollonia, this hurts, okay? I don't have a whole lot of time. Where do you want me to go? And he sort of reaches his hand out. And he says, with me. I said, get specific. Where? The caverns below us. Absolutely bloody not. No, I think Gordy's in hell. <laughs> 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 yep. And as you sort of say absolutely bloody not, you sort of just see this look of panged, just frustration and disappointment on his face as the light sort of starts to fill again, and he's sort of just yelling something back at you, but you sort of feel uh, that, that sound of distortion is coming back through again as you're, he's starting to, like, lose... Uh, features and lose details of himself within this light again. And why should I trust you? I met you only this night. And as you're sort of hearing him say something, you don't really hear or understand the response as the light fades and you're left alone at the train trestle with this bizarre vision uh, that just appeared in front of you and we will cut back to the mirrored chamber. Well, no, we actually, we need to cut back to Alice, who is... I'm going into the farmhouse. Okay, so you've, walking, you've crossed through um, this, this pumpkin patch. Uh, you've walked up to this uh, farmhouse. You see the door, uh, it's hanging open. Uh, as you approach, you actually realize the door is hanging off its hinges and is just kind of like swinging a little bit oh back no. and forth. I walk inside. Okay. You step inside. It's a uh, sort of a quaintly decorated room. Lots of plain furniture. Uh, nothing sort of fancy about this place. Are there any place. like family portraits or anything? Mm pictures as you're looking around you do notice that uh, a lot of the furniture is overturned uh-huh um there's a lot of dust layers of dust and dirt mm -hmm. on everything uh you do find uh go and roll your spot hidden for me 
Uh, do we have any rerolls? We do. We have four. Great. Oh. Worth it. Okay. Uh, that is a 19 success. Okay. So, um, as you're looking around, you do find um, there's a small... Um, it's not a photo, but it's almost like a like a charcoal likeness uh. of uh, a woman and a young man who looks like he could be her son. So it seems like I'm not in the present day. You say that out loud? I say that to myself in my brain, but then out loud, okay. I say, oh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> is, is there anyone here? I guess that depends on who you're looking for. And um, you sort of follow the voice mm -hmm. and just sort of down the hallway as you've been sort of looking at this thing, mm -hmm. uh, there's a gentleman who has stepped into uh, the hall. Uh, the first thing you notice about him is that he's uh, shirtless. Mm. Pretty well-built dude. Uh, just sort of wearing pants, a pair of, uh, pair of pants, no shoes, no socks. Do you know these folks? Which folks? The ones in the drawing? Yeah, the Cullens, you know? No. I've never seen them before or been here. I'm not even entirely sure where here is. Well, uh, you're stuck with me in the coldest, most shithole country on the globe. Welcome to jolly old England. Why are you dressed like that? Uh, it's pretty normal for where I come from. When I come from. When you come from, okay. Yeah, you haven't met anybody recently that seemed like maybe they didn't quite belong? I mean, sure, but nobody talking about when they come from. Well... Maybe other people don't think it's possible that they could be in a, a, a when that they don't belong. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. You're weird as hell. I get that a lot. Yeah, sure. That's yeah, fine. I do too. <laughs> so when exactly is now? This now? When's this now? Mm -hmm. uh, we're in November. It's November 3rd. It's uh, 1856. There it is. Year of our Lord. So you're not from now. No. You're weird. So maybe you can explain, and he sort of walks past you. Mm -hmm. He kind of just, uh, as he walks past you, kind of grabs you, kind of pulling, mm -hmm. suggestively pulling you along, and looks up into the sky, and you see it, the same city, the same city in the clouds that you saw over Los Angeles. Maybe you can help me uh, figure out what this is? I think I'm trying to figure that out myself. When did this happen? Yesterday. I think it was about the same for me, though it's hard to tell. I figured uh, coming to the scene of uh, the last weird thing that happened to me might give me some answers, and it gave me you, so I guess that counts. I... Since we've already established that I'm weird, uh -huh. I guess it's not so weird to say that I walked through a wall to get here. I guess not. I don't really know how it happened. A little more details than walking through a wall? Well, we were in a cave, and then we got attacked. Well... We were trying to get out of the cave, and we just were trying to get away from a bad man that was following after us. Okay. I don't know if he really was a man anymore. He looked like a man, but he could, like, make other creatures appear out of his shoulders and... Did he talk in really obnoxious rhymes? Not exactly, no. Okay, carry on. I'm sorry, really obnoxious rhymes? Yes, yeah, whole thing. Don't worry about it. 
Well, we got attacked by a vampire and... Nasty people. You've met them before? I've had some run-ins. Well, I tried to get away. You see, 1856. Welcome to it. Is there a book in your time published by a man named Lewis Carroll? That doesn't ring a bell. It's um, it's about a, a little girl who's named Alice, and she goes on these weird adventures in another world, I guess. I've seen some similar stories, but I don't know, uh, I don't know the book. Well... I don't read much, though. I... There's a thing in this book, in the second one of these two books about this girl whose name is Alice. My name also happens to be Alice, so... Weird. I just thought maybe with all the other weirdness that I could find this sword that they talk about in... Well, that Humpty Dumpty specifically talks about in one of the books. And, like, in Dungeons & Dragons, the t- you wouldn't know what that is, but many years from now, people will make books so that you and your friends can have make-believe adventures that's all dependent on rolling dice. Do they not have jobs? <laughs> no, they still have jobs. Mm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. For some people, that even kind of is their job. You're here looking for a sword. Yeah, it's... Well, I don't actually know if it's a sword, because they and don't... And you got here by looking through a wall. Well, it was a wall I could see my reflection in. Like a, like a mirror. Like a mirror. Or a looking glass. Where'd you appear here? In the pumpkin patch. Show me. I walk out to show him where I arrived. Okay. And uh, this, to you sort of, uh, this guy follows you um, down off the porch, and as you walk back into um, the pumpkin patch, we're going to cut back now to the center chamber. Uh, where the three of you. Does anything stand out about any of the mirrors? Like if I lift my hand, is one hand going up the later? The main thing that stands out uh, to you is that um, Mona is standing uh, <laughs> in the middle of the room. Oh. Uh, she looks lost. Mm. She looks confused. You mind dual wielding? I don't mm-hmm. give a shit about her, so whatever, I'll, if you need me to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she's sort of standing there in the middle of the room. What happened to you? What are you doing here? Mona. You were bugs. You are bugs. <laughs> You're a bug demon. You are a bug demon. <laughs> Mona, from, the, la- from the, the last thing you sort of remember is running into this woman and then just making a break for it, and then it all kind of goes hazy and goes black. Please don't bother me. I'm meditating. Okay. <laughs> I go and I shake her. Stop it! Duh. <laughs> Stop! Do you not understand what we're saying? You were bugs. Bugs came out of you. You were a demon. A bug demon. Happy Halloween. So you knew. I knew what? That you were a bug demon? We were in a haunted house. There are cities coming from the sky. The ocean was falling from the sky. Mm-hmm. There were horses that tried to eat people, so... Anything can happen. Don't talk about horses. So as <laughs> Mona is uh, sort of talking to you guys from the sort of exterior in the perimeter of the chamber, you see um, the same thing as you saw in the convenience store. Uh, millipedes, roaches, beetles, all of this stuff sort of starting to come down <gasps> off of the reflective surfaces. I'm s- and it starts to gather uh, behind... Mona, and they're all moving very, very quickly and sort of before your eyes. Um, a second Mona appears uh, in the first and kind of just gives everybody a smile. I'm twice as nice. <laughs> it's not her. She's she's evil. I, I, I want to... Um, I'm going to hit her with my gun. 
I just want, I'm just like going to smack her because I feel like if I sort of. Bug Mona? Yeah, Bug Mona, because if I do that, I want the, hopefully maybe it'll stop her concentration of hurting all these bugs towards us. Okay. Um, ba -bum -ba -dum -bum. Hey, Kim, you want to play Bug Mona? Sure. Oh, yeah. What's Bug Mona like? Uh, evil and she wants to kill them. That's her desire. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's her desire. Okay. It's what you What's want. <laughs> <laughs> now is it the Bubble Mona's gun? been running around LA who was going to go to Charlie Beck's party? Uh, she's gone now. I think she's Thank just you. a bug demon now. Uh, okay, that's cool. She's a vessel for bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, so you're an instrument. <laughs> so, so as Keaton, as you're sort of, um, as you sort of get ready to swing the Mona that it was uh, kneeling on the ground, sort of like collapses into a second pile of bugs and just sort of ah, reforms uh, into this into this thing. Um, and she, Bug Mona, what would you like to do? Um, Who gonna die? Who gonna die? I push Jake in front of me. <laughs> I cower behind. And you can tell me what you're doing, <laughs> and I can just roll her stats. Sure. Uh, I guess the one that tried to hit me. No. Okay. So I split into yeah. two, and I go like around Jake, and I try to like surround, no. surround, uh, surround uh, <laughs> DJ King Wallet over there. Uh, yep. Good. Good. Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So, sorry, I lost my bug lady. The worst tragedy any man can have. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my <laughs> bug lady. Did you lose your lady? You Many a country song has been written about that. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my bug lady. Lost my but lady. But she didn't lose me. <laughs> my, <laughs> my lady bug. Um, okay. Uh, so as you sort of like uh, you said, you sort of like bring up to come up to swing, uh, but Mona splits uh. in half almost, and just there's this weird transition of bug in person as the two sort of shapes uh, flank around uh, the side of the group and just push in on either side of Keaton. I need you to roll a strength check. Uh, strength. 20, oh, 55, okay. 15. Ooh, 15. Well, that's a good roll. Okay. That's a good roll. Yeah. Uh, and you find yourself sort of uh, engulfed as she's basically like reforming <laughs> around you. Ooh. And it's 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 this weird feeling because she's thousands of different bugs, but all sort of pushing against you with like the strength of one. You guys both sort of succeeded those strength checks. So now you're sort of like locked into the struggle as she's just trying to crunch Stop. into you and you're sort of doing your best uh, uh, to push to push out. Um, I wouldn't like this, Mona. Dorothy. That's worked for me once before. Whole bug thing has just oh happened. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna perform. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what I did in the same room with the vampire, except this time, I'm in a room. Where are we? Are there? Were there mirrors in this room? Is this the mirror room? Yes. Okay, I'm going. I'm in front of the mirror and I'm going. Oh, there are just as many of me as there are of you. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> so <laughs> to try and distract one of the bugs. <laughs> You're gonna get one real jealous cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> Go and roll your persuade. What? Your persuade. Seventy-six. How many rerolls do we have? I think three. For the persuasion check, we have three. So. I don't know if it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I'll do one more, just for, just for kicks. 21. Oh, Twenty-one. Better. But not a success. <laughs> But not a success. Okay. No. So you, but you're, you're talking, but as also as you are talking uh, sort of in front of this mirror, at first it's just your uh, reflection and everything that's going on uh, behind you. But after a moment, uh, the image on the mirror sort of changes and takes shape, and you can see Alice on the other side uh, almost walking in your direction, and there's a strange man. Uh, with her and as you're sort of recognizing and realizing what you're seeing uh, we are going to move to Jake still standing somehow <laughs> oh boy plug your nose you don't want bugs going up your nose don't give him ideas what are you doing I'm not what? saving you now I was going to help you stupid <laughs> now I ain't saving you for shit <laughs> <laughs> I should have had him kill you 
Uh, so as far as it looks like, unless you're seeing uh, what Dorothy's seeing, it looks like this is the final room, right? Like there's not really a clear. Yes. Unless you're seeing the mirrors. Yes. Oh boy. How close am I to a mirror? <laughs> Uh, you guys are kind of in the middle of the room, so, I, I mean, you can get to one pretty easily. And it's almost like the whole room is just reflective surface sure. from, from the way you kind of see it. You know what? Like, because I don't know, obviously, what she's seeing, but I'm thinking that's at least glass. <laughs> so I'm going to walk up and kick one of those fucking mirrors. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your uh, strength for me. Are you wearing steel-toed boots? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably in this case, I'm wearing like, Why am I rolling for the wolves? Yeah. I was that's, like, no, you're that's working. Not you're at least you're wearing working. Crocs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I feel like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm even I'm wearing Crocs the whole time. <laughs> I'm re-rolling. I'm re-rolling. If he's okay. wearing like, Crocs, one, I'm not talking to him anymore. <laughs> but like one black Croc <laughs> and one orange one because yeah. it's Halloween. Yeah, they don't match at all. Fuck you! Okay, one more. One more. We have one more re-roll. 26. Shoo! Worth it. Okay, so you sort of like Ooh. charge up to uh, uh, to one of the sort of like areas of reflective surface, and you kick the hell out of this thing. I mean, you <laughs> just, you really give it to it, and you feel just this arc of pain seize up the side of your leg as um, you just kicked Ow. a wall as hard as you could. <laughs> um, Ow. And ah! while you see sort of chips and almost like, a, I mean, well done. You're a sturdy dude. You literally just kicked a good chunk out of a wall. Uh, but you find yourself sort of on your ass as like, this is just, bam, just hitting <laughs> a perfectly solid object. And uh, you hit the ground and there's just this like aching pain just shooting up through oh. your leg. Why can't what? I die? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that so hard? You just needed to break it. You didn't need to kick the wall. That For a lady us. covered in bugs, you sure have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, do something that isn't that. That Keaton. brings us back to Keaton. Oh, shanti, 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 shanti. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you should have listened to Darla. <laughs> and as... Uh, uh, Mona the bug lady <laughs> reminds you that you were a very bad student in your crystals and healing class uh, uh, <laughs> at the spiritual center that uh, that you guys both attended. Satnam, he we, we hit Satnam. we hit that second goal. Oh no! And I rolled the dice. I landed on Keaton Michaels. <laughs> as your sanity goes from mildly okay to completely. Zero. Uh, you realize uh, you're having a hard time oh breathing. You're God. panicking. In case you just, didn't know. As you, you feel, um, uh, I want you to roll another strength check with a disadvantage now. Uh, so roll oh two man. and take the worst roll. Oh, you, I hope you get a hundred. Douchebag. <laughs> oh, that is a 30. Damn it. Duh. And that is a 56, and I am at 88. Strength? Oh, strength? No, my strength is 55. So I'm, are you serious? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah! So, yeah! God! <laughs> Sorry. As Keaton sort of feels her mind start to break, you start to feel uh, just insects crawling into your ears and into your mouth as you're starting to like lose the ability to fight as you find yourself just screaming as Mona completely encompasses you. Dorothy, Jake, you watch this happen oh, as whereas shit. there was Mona just sort of like struggling uh, uh, with Keaton sort of in between her. Now there is just Mona sort of looking like she's struggling just a little bit and sort of uncomfortable almost. Um, but uh, Mona has fully engulfed uh, poor Keaton and you're going to take oh, uh, no. five damage. Oh, okay. As... Uh, Bugs are crushing you from uh, from every angle of your body. This is not a very good way to go. Oh my god! Um, and that brings us around to. <sighs> I'm itchy. Mona. <laughs> yeah. You just engulfed Keaton. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to do next? Wait a minute. I'm just testing. I am wearing leather after all. <laughs> yeah. She is dressed as Catwoman. Yeah. <laughs> well, without the mask. Yeah. Oh, ears. <laughs> So who's who's next, basically? And there's another one of me, yes? You see, uh, she reformed into you. 
So okay. it's just you. Okay. Um, uh, you see Jake. He's sort of on his ass on the ground holding his leg because he just kicked a wall really hard. Uh, and you see Dorothy, whose attention is m- a little more on the... Well, I won't speak for you, but she's uh, sort of doing her thing uh, with, with a mirror. Or one of these mirrored surfaces. All right, nerds, where to next? What? <laughs> we don't want you to come. <laughs> don't piss her off! What are you doing? Make her kill out of come! She called us nerds. I don't like that. Let her! <laughs> you know what that word means? You know what that word means? Yeah. Can Alice hear me? <laughs> <laughs> we cut back <laughs> to... Alice just hears herself being called a nerd. Yeah, it's <laughs> arm. Hello. <laughs> and Alice, as you guys are sort of moving uh, closer to where uh, you were initially found, <laughs> you can see... You can't see anything else, but you see sort of the faint image of Dorothy. And you can mm-hmm. hear her. You can't quite hear what she's saying. Uh, but as you're approaching, she almost becomes, even though she's not interacting or paying attention or really acknowledging you at all, she becomes a solid, uh, figure. Hey, I, I know that woman. Dorothy? That's me. Alice, can you hear me? Yes. I run up to her. The bug lady's back. But we... We torched the bug lady. She's back, and there's another one of her. Can I get in? Can I reach through and try to pull her in with us? The moment uh, you touch Dorothy, Mm -hmm. there is a flash, (gasps) and you find yourself back in the chamber with Dorothy, with Jake, and with Mona. Can I fling bugs at them? Because I'm just like wild. <laughs> I just want to fling my, my bugs at, uh, specifically at Dorothy. <laughs> <'Cause I'm just laughs> we'll, we'll get to you. If she does that, then I, I'm palming those millipedes. <laughs> my favorite 90s ska band. <laughs> You're. I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. I wanted to get back in there with you. I was trying to bring you in there with me. We did the opposite. That's okay. Maybe we can get out of here. I hurt my foot. Jake? <laughs> the least of his problems. Can you stand up? I don't know. Can I? <laughs> Go for it, man. Make him roll constitution. <laughs> yeah, do a constitution check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm bringing you with me. <laughs> Why? I didn't do nothing to you. <laughs> <laughs> no way, don't. Do we have any rerolls? <laughs> That's a great question. Oh, no. No, we don't. Oh, oh, no. All right, well, that was a 90. Oh, my oh God. My oh, my God. So Jake is doing his best to stand, but you have, uh, uh, you are getting the distinct uh, confirmation that okay. you have broken your foot. All right. Um, not the first time. When you, when, you <laughs> kicked, uh, when you kicked this wall. Where is he in relationship to where Dorothy and I are? He's by another wall, right? Yeah, he's sort of like on the direct opposite of you guys. And standing <sighs> in between you and Jake is Mona. Great. Um, I think my foot's broken. Maybe I can help you. <laughs> I can, maybe I can help you. I can come over to him. And, and try and yeah. Well, arm him. I was gonna say. So <laughs> I, I, I my goal then is to also like get to the other side of Mona and then see if like, because we can I can still see like my reflection in the wall that he's by, right? Mm-hmm. So I want to see if I can like get over to him and just kind of drag him through that part of the wall. Okay, us, so you're sort hopefully. of like breaking along, <laughs> kind of going this way. And I, go, yeah. and I go, oh, that's a better idea than mine. <laughs> and <laughs> and you just follow? <laughs> okay, got it. So the two, uh, uh, so uh, Mona, you're sort of just watching as uh, these two are sort of making a break along the perimeter <laughs> of, uh, of this round room. Uh, Keaton, will you roll a strength? Constitution! <laughs> roll, roll a strength check uh, and roll at a disadvantage because you're crazy now. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's a 14. Come on, man! <laughs> that's a roll twice? Yeah! That's a roll two? Disadvantage. You gotta, you gotta take the crappy get. one. Oh, man, 56. And it's like 55. Again? What? Again? You rolled that same Jesus one again? Jesus Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> 
karma. Why? Worst. Oh my god. So for, you're gonna oh, lose uh, <laughs> as these things are just uh, oh, no. continuing to crush against you. You're gonna you start to feel your ribs break <laughs> as you lose another three hit points. Oh, oh my god. god! I am at five HP. Mona, you feel sort of like. Uh, uh, the rest of you can almost see there's almost like handprints like pushing out of the side of Mona, Aww. almost like when you see a, uh, a pregnant lady who's like real, real do and like the, and then the hands yeah, like yeah, the yeah you sort of hear that and you can hear just this panicked screaming coming from inside of Mona and it's your turn. Shh. Inner peace. Inner peace. And I push her hand back in. Oh, <laughs> oh God. This is fun. No. Oh. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to sacrifice my friend. Jake, <laughs> what are you doing? I tried to help. Well, so how close are they to me? They're sort of making their way along. Mm -hmm. Alice, uh, will you please roll your dexterity for yes. me? Yes. Uh, do we have any rerolls? We don't. Uh, okay, well, then I failed. <laughs> okay. You, uh, you're, you're running, you're picking up speed, and then you find yourself flat on your face on the <laughs> ground uh, as you trip over a something. Uh, as Alice goes uh. down, Dorothy, your first instinct is to kind of look at the ground, and there is a small uh, black ball that is just sort of tinking past um, uh -huh. Alice. I want to grab it. Okay. Um, how do I describe this to the lady from the 20s? Um, huh? It's a black ball. It's kind of heavy. There is, on the top of it, an opening. And inside that opening, you see uh, a triangle <laughs> that's <laughs> floating. A magic eight <laughs> ball. <laughs> and there's an arrow on it. And the arrow's kind of moving around inside the eight ball. Curious. Which way is the arrow pointing? It is pointing um, if... So I got it. I have it now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you have this thing in your hands. And at first it's just floating around, but then you really start to get the distinct feeling that this arrow has pushed and it's sort of set on a fixed location. And it is mm -hmm. if um, if Jake is at uh, 12 o'clock right now, it's sort of pointing maybe at like quarter after over here, sort of, but like directly sort of in that okay. direction. So I start going, ah. going towards that direction. Okay, so you sort of make a break. You're, uh, this is sort of taking you close to Mona, and as you sort of break forward and run, Alice, uh -huh. it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to go uh, after Dorothy because she clearly saw something okay. on the thing that I tripped over. So I am uh, getting up and going in her direction. Okay. Uh, so the two of you uh, are running. Jake, uh, you're on your butt. But you're awake. You're alive, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man. Did her purse get taken inside with her? Uh, her empty purse is lying on the ground, but she did dump most of it in, in the, the previous room. chamber. God um, damn. Hang on. Odds are evens, man. Evens. Her rifle is on the ground. <laughs> and do I still have that perfume? <laughs> Even if it wasn't blessed. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Oh boy! Are you gonna? Because I have that lighter. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't burn me. And I was like, like, if you if you kill me, you're gonna kill her too. <laughs> Make your I peace, Keaton. I really don't care. Hey, bug bitch! <laughs> Just <laughs> start spraying the perfume. Okay, let's roll As your um. Let's roll your firearms. Literally. That's, that's what we did last These time, right? Literally. Yeah, yeah. Firearms. literally Thank God your we firearms. don't have any rerolls. So yeah, firearms hand yeah, We sure don't. No, oh you guys boy. have no rerolls. Oh oh boy. You better oh not yeah. be successful with this. I'm going to kill you. I swear on the next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. How? You're being eaten by millipedes mm. and June bugs that go when they hit the wall. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. 81. <laughs> yes. So you sort of, you have this moment of clarity where you're like, I know what I have to do. And <laughs> you start trying to light this Zippo. 
uh, and and spray the perfume, but the Zippo just isn't lighting. You don't know if like it broke somehow, or you're just like too shaky now to sort of like get the thing. But you're just kind of going. Ah. Eh, eh, eh. And uh, as you're doing that, we're going to uh, uh, turn back to Mona. Is he trying to do that to my face? Yes. I just cocked my head. Okay. Chanel number five, that's such a basic bitch choice. (laughs) It ain't mine, dummy. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. You're the one with the Crocs, man. (laughs) They're comfy. I'm on my feet all day in a van. I really like shit talking, Bug Mona. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? What? I take the perfume bottle and just shake it. What are you trying to do? I don't know, man. I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, my options are running thin right now. So I just unscrew and I just do one of these. Are I empty it on the ground. Okay. I mean, even if you think it's basic, bitch, it's not cheap. And as uh Money can't buy taste. <laughs> and I toss the bottle. I'm getting roasted. <laughs> as Mona is sort of like crouched, kind of down next to you, dumping this thing out, just like shit talking and taunting you, which chef fingers, chef kisses, um, uh, just sort of taunting you. Those better uh, be re-rolls, Keaton, you fucks. We have Getting heated. Two rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> Keaton, I need you. Just in time for me to kill him. <laughs> to roll against your strength. I didn't pour out your perfume. With advantage. With the disadvantage, disadvantage. again. So same as we've been doing. Oh my god! Yeah, I said I wanted to die, but I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Is it a 56? 99? So roll again, because maybe you'll get 100. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Never let me, never make me sit next to Cameron again. This is the 23! <laughs> I mean, you could re-roll. Oh. Um, could I re-roll? Yeah. I'll let you use a reroll. Yes, I'd love to see yes. what happens at a 99. <laughs> but, okay. Oh my God. We're going to do the same thing. You're rerolling. Yeah, with, with disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay. 55. <gasps> on the line. On the line. 66. No! <laughs> hey, it's not 99. Oh, my God. The Your strength is a 55, right? You rolled a 55? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I got a 66. Oh, no. As you, Mona, are sort of taunting Jake, all of a sudden you sort of feel this, like, pain in your side. You know, like, Uh. when it feels like a a rib really needs to pop out a little bit? Mm -hmm. Sort of start to feel this pain as uh, fingertips start to burrow out through your skin and as they sort of uh, push through the layer of bugs, bugs, sort of like skin and shape give way to just like, just oh, <laughs> nasties just dropping off the side of you that kind of scurry <laughs> away at first, <laughs> but are then like kind of re like joining <laughs> your feet, you know, me, sort yeah. of reforming. Uh, but as this is happening, Keaton, like you just see her, her face and as she like pushes her face out of your side and gasps for breath. She just coughs up um, just roaches and beetles just sort of like cough out of out of her mouth as they're just crawling on her face and crawling out. But Keaton just like basically screams out of the side of your body. Uh, and we're going to... And I'm still super close, right? Like she's like leaning in my face. Yes. Sweet. Alice, Dorothy? Okay, so we're over by the other part of the wall. Yeah, they're pretty close to you, but... They're, uh, they're still pretty close to us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this eight ball is taking us just... Yeah, to this spot. So if, like, there, 12 o'clock, you guys are kind of like, yo. Do you think... <laughs> I mean, I guess... What is this? It's a <laughs> magic eight ball. What is this? It's a thing that you play with. Usually you ask it a, a question, and it, it gives you sort of a vague answer that can be interpreted a lot of different ways. It's a compass. Okay. Listen, 
it this is still pointing, yeah, just right directly ahead of you guys. It looks like it wants us to go there. Well, I don't want to leave Jake behind. Come there on. you go. My mother always told me to listen to compasses. Compai. <laughs> I don't think that's the plural of compass, but... Real term, real term. I don't know, I'm making <laughs> shit up. It's lore now. <laughs> if, let's say... Before your mom was a pirate? <laughs> we were to make, like, a human My mom chain. was a pirate. You know what I mean? Like, if let's say, if I was like against this part of the wall that I think we need to go through, and then Dorothy like reached and grabbed my hand, could she maybe grab Jake, and then all three of us could get through? Let's find out. Okay. Distance-wise, <laughs> that's mean. Alice, as <laughs> you focus on the mirror, you see everything that's going on behind you. You sort of see uh, uh, Mona like struggling suddenly and, uh, and sort of doubling over in pain. You 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 see Jake, who clearly he just kind of seems like he's given up uh, a little bit. My foot hurts um, so bad. <laughs> but then the image starts to adjust, and you see ahead of you uh, a set of train tracks. Uh, and a forest sort of mm-hmm. in the distance, sort of coming up on the sides to meet it. A set of train tracks. Mm-hmm. Further. Anything else? Like uh, a bridge? Yeah. Beyond that, you Ooh. see um, what looks to be uh, the track sort of uh, change into what looks to be like a covered bridge. Meet me on the bridge. Kill me on the bridge. Dorothy, that's the way we need to go. Okay. Grab my hand. All right, I do. And reach for Jake. Jake. Yeah. Grab my hand. I grab her hand, and is Keaton still sticking out halfway with her little fingers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, I grab Keaton's fingers. <laughs> fingers. All right. Okay. Uh, so you guys do this chain. Pull hard, Dorothy. And um, pull as hard as I can. <laughs> as Alice pushes into the reflection, the last thing. Keaton hears is an explosion of bugs Uh, and a piercing scream uh, as there's a flash of light. And the four of you find yourself in the woods. I want to go back to blood curdling. You can't die there. On train tracks. (laughs) Standing face to face with the vampire that just tried to kill you <gasps> about <gasps> 10 minutes ago. The Son woman? of a bitch! Or JJ. Stay away! Aren't I walking away at this point? Who is here? So we're sort of gonna, let's dial back, let's travel through time and space a moment, <laughs> if we could. Sweet! Apollonia. You've seen this bizarre image of Gordy. Oh, it's vanished. Terrible. You're walking away. <laughs> And as you are walking behind, just a short distance behind you, you suddenly just hear just the thud of people. You hear voices, uh, you hear talking, you hear uh, a, a yelling out in pain. You don't recognize any of these, any of these voices, but uh, a whole bunch of people have just dumped right behind you. Uh, fun, more friends. I keep on walking. Okay. Uh, so uh, as you guys are sort of like gathering your bearings um, you're looking around and this woman's walking away the same velvet dress the same long black hair uh, but is walking away from you Uh, Jake you're still you know kind of on the ground holding your foot Keaton your your brain is gone you were just inside a bug lady. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going your to... Uh, that one hurt the most. So <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry about your Chanel number five. <laughs> <laughs> That's when your brain went... <laughs> so I, <was> like, <laughs> I know you got crystals that you talk to sometimes. I know you got things going on. I'll let you sort of decide what uh, uh, Broken <laughs> Keaton is, okay? Uh, you guys find yourself... Uh, in these woods. But we recognize the... You recognize the distinct silhouette and clothes and even gait uh, of the... Uh, of, uh, of this woman who is uh, walking away from you. Uh, 
into uh, sort of alongside these train tracks. Hey! Just, just fucking away! <laughs> what are you doing? I think she's part of this. <laughs> My mother has told me if someone leaves, let them go. Who are you? <laughs> Did she say that before Your she Your mother left? was a smart woman. My mother left me. <laughs> I don't know you, but she probably had good reason. Hey, you okay over there? Should I know this woman? She's... She's the vampire she just tried to kill in the us. basement. You had a bone fight with her. Ah. Ah. Are you well, going to start killing people now? Why would I? Are you, you a vampire? Are you from England? Yes, love. Answer the first question. <laughs> we've, we've met you before, but I think it was... I don't recall I've had the pleasure. It was a different you. A different time. Oh, no, there's only one me, love. Well... I want to walk They're forward and just touch her face because I think I'm in a dream. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this very bizarrely dressed woman um, walks up to you, just arms out, uh, trying to touch your face. Fascinating. Not the actions. No, it's quite a common reaction when people meet I me. I try to comb her coding. hair. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, strange creature? Where in England? What do you call yourself? Where? Where? Guess. Who uh, ca- Newcastle. Uh, uh, Liverpool. Wales. Do you really uh, think? Oh. <laughs> Please don't mention the Welsh around me. What? What is time? What? What time is now? What is time? <laughs> <laughs> what is time? It's what? the middle of the night, love. No, I know. No, what, what? what year? What date? What's the year? It's 1925. What do you eat? 1925. Nine. I knew I recognized somewhere. What? <laughs> have you been here before? This is my time. But here, have you been here? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's the middle of the night, 1925. Britain, somewhere. This one's lost her cuckoo marbles. Uh, I don't know if we are. Not in Britain. quite. Stop Sir, it. I, I really don't know what your name is, but you might want to find a Mr. Thiexen. You two would get along rather well. I- We've already met him. You met it what? Mr. Thiexton. Down by Fisherville. I don't know where we were. We were in a cave. And... No, not down by Fisherville. No. As you are uh, talking, um, uh, it may not shock the rest of you because you've seen it, but Apollonia, this would be the first time that you've noticed this. There is um, just a city in the... Upside down city in the sky. Air crumbs. I was not here an hour ago. I think something happened. You did. Well, because clearly, I mean, you look quite normal, just a little bit dirty. Do but you, you are. I'm sorry, little boy. What's your name? I'm not a boy. I no. think she was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a little boy, and I'm, I'm dirty. I am not dirty. My, I'm Alice. I'm a real boy. Right, and you smell like horses. I'm like, were you? Well. What was that? Oh, Wait, I'm a real boy, and I start I start taking off my clothes. I just start like <laughs> taking. I just, I'm a real boy, Keaton. Just let her do this, man. It's, just, it's the moonlight. We're all good. Just let her let her have this. Do you know a Phil or a Jimmy? <laughs> I know lots of men love. Fill no, up my cup, but no Phil is all Jimmy's. <laughs> Never, don't say that, Nick. I tried. <laughs> the voice. Did you? <laughs> Did you see the... the (laughs) How old are these men? (laughs) Why are you asking? I don't know any Phil or Jimmy. I'm flagging you. While we're talking Phil's and Jimmy's, uh, the group hears uh, a gunshot (laughs) ring out. (laughs) You with anybody? Clearly not. Clearly not. We just landed here. Something happens to you. What happens to me? You become a vampire and your hair falls out. What? Your hair falls out. I, my hair falls out. Your hair falls out oh, in no, lumps. According to my father, my mama had lovely hair. She well, might have, but you are not going to in a future day. You Wait, where in England? You never answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking? Guess my accent, love. It's not Liverpool. Why is that funny for you? <laughs> Guess my accent, love. Liverpool. I mean, she may be from... The rough part. Liverpool. All right then. No, those people are fascinating. Where were you, Where were you going? Where? Yes. Trying to find the road. 
trying to find the road. In the middle of the night? Yes, of course. You can't go away. Why? Because something happens, something happens, and your future is bad if you don't do something to try to stop it. That's exactly why I'm trying to leave. That shot rings out a second time. <laughs> Closer, same distance with things? Same distance the as bridge. you sort of the stop bridge, to the sort bridge. of... It does seem like it's... Uh, you sort of look sort of through uh, the end of the bridge, and although it's dark on the inside, you get the distinct sense that that shot was fired on the other side of the bridge. We have to go to the bridge. That's what the voice said, is that we need to meet me, whoever that is, on the bridge and kill them. Did you see a person on the bridge? I saw a, somebody I recognized, a rather bizarre young man, although he wasn't young when I saw him last. He was on the bridge? He was. It looked yeah. terrible. We have to go back there. Oh, be my guest, and I keep walking. You need to help us. Why? Because I don't think any of us are strong enough to kill him. And if you really are that lady, Force that vampire me. lady who tried to kill us all, then you're strong enough. Keaton, as you are uh, weirdly stripping and <laughs> yelling accents, um, <laughs> your dad just smiles and pours uh, you a shot of tequila. What? What? Hands it to you. What? I've just been proud of everything you're doing. Oh, God. Thank, thank you, Dad. You're welcome. I'm nervous. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Your, your, your father and I are proud of you. He's just waiting. He sort of thumbs in the direction of the covered bridge. OK. Thank you for. This is really good stuff. This is 1942. Um, I'm just proud that you're following your heart. I, I want to go with Dad. <clears throat> yeah. Can I have a hug? <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> and um, sort of cut back to the perspective of everyone here. Keaton is just sort of hugging air. Keaton. <laughs> Okay. You might want to tend to your friend, the strange creature is doing some sort of dance and go to Naked, which normally I'd celebrate, but she doesn't seem to be quite well. She seems happy. Keaton, as you she are uh, hugging uh, your father, uh, you sort of sigh, you're very comfortable, sort of just kind of nestled into his shoulder. He's a little bit taller than you, and your eyes open, and as your eyes open, you kind of look over his shoulder. Um, his red hat falls on the ground, his long red pointy hat. It's the ground ah! oh, no. behind him. Oh. And as you pull back, there's a, what appears to be a very tall garden gnome looking oh, God. gentleman oh, God. with fangs who just like is digging his no. fingers into no. your arms. Stop! Let me go! Please stop! 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 We cut back to your old perspective. Don't see no, anything. you don't see anything. You just see this happening to Keith. Stop, Keaton. stop, 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 stop. Keaton, what, who are you talking to? She doesn't seem happy anymore. Stop, who? stop. And I'm just like clawing at my... Keaton, ah! stop. Ah! Okay, because I have uh, the most strength, I think. <laughs> I, on broken foot, get up and just wrap my arms around her. So oh, she stops clawing at herself. Her. Oh. Okay. Um... You, what are you trying to, you're trying to restrain? You're trying to comfort? That's a little really, bit of both. That's a little really sweet. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like when someone starts like having a, a seizure, if you thunder. kind of hold yeah. them. Okay, uh, here's what I'm going to have you do. <laughs> I'm going to have you roll a strength check, and uh, I'm going to have you roll a persuade check, and take the better roll. We'll see how this goes. Oh. <laughs> That's you, boo. <laughs> so, I'm rolling twice for both, or I'm rolling no, one? No, you're rolling, rolling each. One, one each. Yeah, so roll your, against your strength. strength. And then roll against your persuade. You have three rerolls. I'm gonna reroll for that persuade because I passed the strength. Oh wait, wait, wait! You oh. passed one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. then don't. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, so you you're sort of trying to accomplish two things here. You're trying to restrain Keaton, and you're also kind of trying to calm her down and comfort her for, for whatever reason. You two have sort of had a connection throughout this weird 
you guys have spent the most time together. You guys have had the uh, sort of a strong connection. So at first, you're just trying to hold her to sort of calm her down to persuade her. It doesn't seem to be working. She's kind of kicking and struggling. So that sort of uh, warmth turns into a, as gently and as much as you can accomplish it because you are also not doing great. Um, <laughs> just kind of try to hold her uh, still, sort of just to hold her arm sort of taunt. Uh, and you do so as Keaton sort of like struggling and freaking out because mm-hmm. there's a gnome thing grabbing her her arms and uh, and uh, um, uh, getting in her face. Um, that situation seems to be rectified uh, mm-hmm. for now. What would the group like to do? What do you want? Because I bet it isn't to end up in a cavern feasting on people who are being sacrificed to some thing that that Thiexton guy keeps referring to as an elder. Oh no, that sounds ghastly. Clumps of hair. <laughs> I think this is a good sign. If we're back in my time, maybe this will be my last stop. So yeah. who is this a good sign for? <laughs> because I'll be back in my time and everything will start to fall in order again. Yeah, maybe we're starting to set things right. We're starting to set things right. Yeah, welcome home. Don't say it like that. Sounds like you don't really want me here. <laughs> well, I really don't know you, love, so... Then say that, instead of just pretending. I just want someone to be honest with me and hold me, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, not too good. I will be honest with you, but no, you're not my type. <laughs> well... <laughs> you little boy, go hold that one. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Come on. You've heard the shots, you see the bridge. Let's head towards the bridge. It's the only clue we have. And men are usually good with guns. Okay. <laughs> We're going to the bridge. I'm coming. So I'm trying to kind of like slowly with a broken no. foot and bleeding <laughs> drag Keaton along with me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, good luck. Okay, Welcome thank the you. King. You're seriously not coming? I don't know you. I don't know you either, girl. Girl, but I'm telling you to come well, with us. Well, everything goes horrible, it'll all be your fault. <laughs> And yeah. you'll just have to live with that as you rot in a cave! Wow. You're the second person who's mentioned caves. I can see why. I wasn't exactly fond of the first. What happened to him? And you are the anomaly here, so if things go wrong. An anomaly? You're calling me an anomaly? There's a floating city in the sky! That you brought upon us. Maybe I did. <laughs> but I sure as hell am not gonna sit by and not do anything about it! He has a show. Come on. Let's go. I'll kill her on the bridge of that one right now. Okay. All right. So you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have bear hug her? <laughs> so the three of you are sort of <laughs> step into uh, the covered bridge. You're sort of dragging Keaton along mm-hmm. with you. Uh, go ahead and make a constitution check for me, Jake. Oh, here we go. We got your rolls. 29, 29. Okay. Feeling fine. How are you doing it? (laughs) I'm a survivor. (laughs) (laughs) You know. So Jake, that your your vision blurs again. You sort of feel that same wooziness, but like you have been able to do before, (laughs) you sort of push through, and you're just carrying uh, this 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 smaller woman who's struggling and just freaking out just as, as best you can. Um, and as this group sort of walks uh, into the covered bridge, Apollonia, are you joining? Are you leaving? What are you doing? I said I was leaving, so I'm leaving. Okay. So Apollonia sort of just walks uh, the other way. Um, the three of you... I wonder what adventure she's going to have. <laughs> <laughs> Jake. What? I knew... I knew another Jake. Jacob, is that your real name? Yeah. Jacob was, he was the one on the, the show, the actor, the, the main guy, Tim, who got stuck with the two kids when the mine separated oh, us from our Tim. parents. He played Tim, he played Tim. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was strong like you. Like emotionally or physically? like both. It's oh, hard to find. He was a good friend. What happened to him? Well, he didn't take very well to the show ending. You know, he 
fought for a long time to get a big break. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he had money. Mm -hmm. So, kind of got into some bad stuff. So, I think he was depressed and he didn't, well, handle it in a healthy kind of way. Right. So, just keep being strong, okay? I'm not going anywhere if you guys don't go anywhere. And I'll keep bringing this one with us. And as you guys sort of... I'll probably stay here. So this is my time. Uh, fair. Yeah. I mean, do you have hair fair? There's nothing against <laughs> no, you. It's just... So on that note, uh, you hear over the covering of the bridge, it starts to rain. Apollonia, uh, it's... You're sort of out in the open, so you feel the rain, and after a moment, you realize that it's salt water. Um, as the three of you make your way uh, through the darkness of the bridge, after a while, you sort of start to see the light. Uh, it doesn't take long. You know, after a few minutes, you sort of see the light uh, at the other end of the bridge, and you find yourself um, at the other end, and you see in front of you three people. The first person you see is J.J. Thigston. Oh, this oh, fucking guy. guy. He is covered in blood, kneeling on the ground. Near him is a second man um, holding a rifle whose face is just covered in, in claw marks and scarring that moves down his neck under his clothes. He's a, a hard-looking man, a sort of a joyless-looking man. Um, the third person is uh, sort of a more wiry guy. He's holding a <laughs> rifle. And? Pointing it towards <laughs> JJ. <gasps> oh, wait. Is that two bullets? Um, that's the scene that you see in front of you. Alice, at your feet, huh? you see a simple red plastic disc. <laughs> it's a frisbee. <laughs> What's this frisbee doing here? Do they notice us? Doesn't seem to right now. Uh, they're basically, uh, JJ and the guy holding the gun at him are just screaming at each other. JJ is screaming, we're all tunes! Look at us, we're all tunes! Who could be a tune too? And the other guy is just <laughs> screaming at him to shut the fuck up. That's him. And the other guy is just sort of waiting very cautiously to see how this plays out. That's that Beekston. Is that the guy who's supposed to be killed on the bridge? There's three people, how do we know for sure it's him? We've gotta I kill mean, all of they them. they might, well, it looks like one of them, Thigston might eat it here. Yeah. Like, we know he does it in the future, but something might, it might, look, time's being weird right now. He might eat it right here. If he does... Maybe we should make sure. Let's see what happens with the other two guys. Like, if Thigston gets killed in the city and the sky goes away... We saw I mean, I don't know how we're going to get back to 2019, but other than that... A frisbee looks okay. like it could kill someone, doesn't it? Does it? <laughs> Does it? Can I hear any of this? It's you're pretty good a distance good. away now, but you can hear. But I them. can hear it because of yeah. my mother. Yes. Yeah, uh, you can hear pretty decently uh, what's going on. You hear further off. You hear the commotion. Those voices are familiar to you. You can't quite make out what's being said, but you definitely just hear familiar JJ shouting. JJ very shouting and loud as he usually yes. does. Yes, uh, and you do hear. Uh, these guys sort of standing at the edge of the bridge. You can kind of hear them conferring quietly. You can't quite pick out details, but you can sort of hear Do these. I hear, like, a, some, anything about the flying disc? Sure. Uh, sorry, replay the conversation about the flying disc, if we could. That frisbee looks like it could kill someone, doesn't it? 
And then Jake saying, does it? <laughs> you kind of make that out. All right. <clears throat> well, don't count your luck. When he threw it around, it was a big load of nothing. Well. You can sort of hear literally from the other side, almost like the disembodied voice of Apollonia at the other side of this tunnel, sort of like her voice ringing through, almost like she's talking to you from the other end. I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm going <laughs> to throw the frisbee directly at Peakston. <laughs> Come on with a heart decapitation, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. Uh, roll your throw. Great. Do we have re-rolls? Do we? Uh, that's Just a great question. Because my throw's pretty good. We have three. Great. Ooh. Thank goodness. Uh, don't need it. That is a 32. <laughs> What's your throw? 60. Okay. 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 Solid okay. throw. Yep. All right. Mine is shit. <laughs> so... You're holding this red disc. Yup. And you just sort of wing this thing <laughs> and let it fly. Um, and it smacks this guy that's holding the gun directly in the face. All yelling stops. Even this blood cover JJ Theakston is like... And you see the, the man holding the gun stops and looks down and kneels down and he picks up the disc and he looks back at the covered bridge. You don't get the sense that he can see you necessarily but he's holding it. He points at the scarred man and just says leave him here. Just keep him keep him here. Okay, just keep him. I don't want him to I don't want him to move. I don't, I don't trust him. I don't want him to move. I don't want, oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to be here. I don't, just, what are you doing here? And he's like yelling back at the Frisbee and he makes his way towards um, uh, the covered bridge uh, holding his rifle, cautious, but also, you know, just kind of very confused and frustrated. Walking away from the way that we're, where we're standing or walking towards us? He's walking towards you. Um, and you guys are still sort of on the inside of the bridge a little bit, so not necessarily like readily visible. I want to try to like reach out and touch him as he's passing us. Okay, well I mean he's like walking directly towards you. Oh, okay. Um does he see us? Yeah, and as he oh, sort okay. of like steps <laughs> into <laughs> I, was like, I don't know if we're just like an aberration. As he sort of steps into uh the entrance, uh he just looks even more confused. He sort of sees Dorothy first because Dorothy's dressed like a normal person. And then his eyes sort of travel to the three of you and, and he sort of grips the Frisbee and also holds up the rifle. He, this guy's shaking, he's, he's terrified. Don't shoot. He, did you throw this? Did you, are you real? Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of things have been saying that they're real. Are you real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you have, how do you have this? If you're real, how, why, why would you have this? Cause the, this is the kind of shit that, that it does. You gotta yeah. trust them. It just, was there when we walked in to the bridge. It was by uh, my feet. Are you going to kill that Theakston guy? I don't see any other way out of here. Me yeah. either. You should yeah, go do you that. Yeah, you should do no. it. I... Fine. I think we have to. Fine. Is yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else I expected to find on the bridge. Hmm? The scars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else the hell I expected to find on the bridge. Fine. Fine. And as he sort of if you can't walks do it, back, you can't do it. Let me know. And I've got a pistol. Will all of you roll your? Psychology. Oh, okay. Apollonia, you too, because you can hear this. Okay. Psychology. I know that I have skill in that. He <laughs> real bad. Uh, 44, that's a success for me. Okay. Yeah. This is a percentile, yeah? Yes. Okay. 55, that's a no. <laughs> Do we that's have a reroll? No. I pass. Okay. Do we have any rerolls? Uh, we do. We have three, but we had one success, so that's... Oh, okay. I succeeded right. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, no that's... Because um, uh, I, yeah, my psychology is too bad, but I... I did not. I did not. <laughs> yeah, real bad. So, two things sort of happen here. 
Apollonia, you immediately sort of hearing Gordy's voice. Oh, so it's Gordy speaking, not Bernard. Yeah, it's Gordy talking okay. to you guys. Yeah. Um, uh, Bernard just sort of off to the side, sort of standing guard over JJ. Um, you instantly, you recall, you know, just mo- literally moments ago now, uh, a lot of weird things have happened to you in the last 10 minutes. It's been an eventful 10 minutes. It's been an eventful night. Yes. Period. Yeah, for you? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, but you just recall that weird, that vision of Gordy that stepped out to speak with you and just, just shaking and saying we fucked up. You know, we we ruined this. We broke everything. Alice, hmm. there is something in the way he says, I didn't know what I'd expect to find on the bridge. Hmm. All of a sudden, his voice lines up with the voice that you've been hearing. It's the same voice. Hmm. Find me on the bridge. Kill me on the bridge. The looking glass will guide you. All of a sudden, it, it's just very clear that the man in front of you, this confused guy gripping this disc in front of you, is the man who brought you here, the one who brought you out of time, um, the one who brought two of Apollonia's uh, staff members into the cave, the one that brought two coats from the future. This is him. This is the moment. This is the person we have to kill. It isn't... Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so bummed out? It isn't the Easton. It's him. This guy? He's still, like, on his way to go kill JJ, right? Yeah, he's walking away from you guys. I just go, okay, and I put down... (laughs) Put down what? I slowly put down Keaton. Keaton? <laughs> <laughs> it just like rolled. Show. While his back turned. While his back is turned. Mm-hmm. She'll, be, she'll be fine. I've got my pistol. What's on the what's below the bridge? <sighs> so where you guys are, uh, it's solid land on either side. Uh, you walked over a very large lake. Mm-hmm. Is what the bridge is actually spanning. But by the time the the bridge <laughs> lets out, you are back on ground. Uh, who? What's your? What's everybody's <laughs> firearms? Firearms? Yeah. Firearms. Twenty-five. Not very strong. <laughs> but you picked up my fighter. rifle. I did pick up your rifle. Um, my fire. Twenty or twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five. Because yeah. my mindset was just run up and grab him while he's not looking to chuck him off <laughs> the bridge. Chuck him off the bridge. <laughs> I was going to try to sneak up behind him and shoot him point blank with somebody's I'm going to let you gun. go first. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you the rifle. I take the rifle. Nope, I want the handgun. <laughs> I give it to her. Well, actually, I guess I'm equally not great with both, but yeah. not the worst. Um, and I'm going to... How many rerolls do we have? <laughs> Three. I'm going to sneak uh, up behind please. Gordy. Okay. And then I would want to shoot him in the back of the head. Roll your firearms. Okay. I'm mad. I'm telling Matt. I will use a reroll. Use it. We have two more. Two more. Okay. Keep going. Okay. I'm going to use it. Use it. One more. Uh, uh, all right. This is it. Uh, Come on. 33. Oh, my God. <gasps> Woo. Die. <laughs> Dead. Alice takes a few steps following home. Gordy. <laughs> she walks out of the cover of the tunnel. Whatever. Points the gun behind his head. Squeezes the trigger. Mr. Fitzgerald, what did you do? Whatever it takes to survive. And in that moment, Apollonia, you hear a gunshot ring out. Uh, a louder sort of stranger, more metallic gun sh- sort of gunshot than you're sort of used to, to hearing, but nevertheless, you know a gunshot when you hear it. Alice. This man falls onto the ground in front of you. And as he does, the scarred man swings his rifle up, sees you, sees you standing over, 
uh, the body of Gordy Fitzgerald, points his rifle, and starts moving towards you. I, I thought, know. I thought we did it. I know you're not going to believe me, but I, I did what I had to do. Is it still raining the ocean? Is the, the city sky. still in the sky? The rain, Apollonia, you would notice, uh, has started to ease off. It has started to cease. And as the man with the clawed face lifts his rifle, squeezes the trigger, <laughs> Alice, Keaton, Jake, there's a flash of light. <gasps> and you find yourselves <clears throat> exactly where you were on the bridge. Huh? The forest is cleared. There is a construction project for cheap, affordable housing <laughs> by the lake. <clears throat> you sort of look off in the distance. You see uh, there's a lake house. You see a lot of activity, people running around, jumping off the dock. There's jet skis tied to the side of the lake. Apollonia, you find yourself exactly where you were. It stopped raining. It stopped raining. The city in the sky is gone. Dorothy, one moment. These three people are standing there the next moment. They're gone. You find yourself watching the scarred man take off running into the woods as the blood-covered J.J. Theakston has taken an opportune moment to make a run for it. And you find yourself alone on this bridge. <laughs> Gordy's body still there? <laughs> Gordy's body yep. still lying there. With his frisbee. With his poor frisbee. Anyone? Friends? Apollonia, on your side of the bridge, you hear a voice ask just that. <laughs> the very odd woman that you met moments before. I hope she finds friends and a bath. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> I've got good earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Was so Apollonia, is, um, uh, what are you doing? Was your mother a vampire as well? Who's to know? <laughs> <laughs> so in that very bizarre moment where the two of you have a conversation as if you were standing right next to each other. A moment passes. The two of you walk your separate ways. Bloody strange night. <laughs> and that is where we will end volume three oh, man. of He Left It Dead. Oh, <laughs> I lived, baby! I lived! <laughs> <laughs> How did all of you live? <laughs> I wanted you to get eaten by a bug lady. I was going to die for sure in that last moment. <laughs> I thought I was getting shot down. Woo! Damn it. Woo! So close. You all live. Five HP. You gave a... It is <laughs> bullshit. But how crazy is Keaton now in oh life? God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's she screwed up. So at least we have that. <laughs> um, that's our show. That's, yeah. that's the story. Of... I want to thank uh, the five of you yeah. uh, for going on this weird ass trip, <laughs> um, and Ooh. as well as Bert and Matt and Zach from Volume One and Ooh. Volume Two uh, for giving us these crazy, bizarre, and incompetent characters that formed the base of this volume. Uh, and I really want to thank you guys so, so much uh, for showing up and coming out and supporting the so show. Awesome. Yeah. You're why we have three volumes of it. Like I said before, uh, the, the first volume 
really even only happened because they Zach was like, well, we need we need a couple weeks filled of what you got, and this is what we had, and um, you guys came out and you loved it and you supported it. Thank you guys so much for continuing to do that. Yay. We got to tell 16 episodes worth of a very, very, very weird story. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time. Oh, yeah. Um, let's read through some of these very, very weird so close to death. Uh, donations. Very weird. So close to death. Apollonia is still walking around like Kane and Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. um, all right. All right. Let's go. Uh, Uber Baldy uh, put in a few bucks towards this. Didn't quite get there, buddy. Sorry. Uh, I would have done it. I would have done it. Uh, I'll just I'll just read it, even though it didn't quite get there. Hashtag NPC. They call him Ish Ishmazgazta. What? Once he was a top gun pilot in the Air Force, he required to a quiet life of fishing after learning he bombed a school full of children. Now he has embraced the dark and emerges as a fish man with wings. Hashtag flying fish. So sorry you didn't quite get the NPC oh, there, Uber Baldy. Oh, there it is. But I would have rolled with it, man. I would have rolled with it, but nobody finished it for you. Uh, Game of Joe B, a British werewolf in LA. Is is it Peter or is someone yeah. entirely new? GM's choice. Hashtag evil. Uh, I, I didn't go evil with evil. him. I did go evil with I him. I did figure out it was Peter, though. I yeah. liked that. We, we could have gone. That could have gone somewhere bizarre, uh, but we could didn't quite gone. get there. Uh, Mexican Robin 90. Uh, Mexican Robin uh, build for hashtag evil. It's time for the evil gnome king Dingle to appear. Uh, only looking for is, and I think chat said I pronounced it wrong. Let me try this again. Uh, it's a blood curling reference, as I understand it. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know how to pronounce this word. Uh, it's Papa. Papa, 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 baby, Papa. Papa, baby, Papa. Okay, okay he was looking for his thing. Papa, baby, Papa. All right. <laughs> you got it. So we didn't just travel through time. We traveled through shows tonight. Hey. Thank you guys well, next very, week. very much. Yeah, yeah we can uh, next week. Bradley Burnett, hashtag re-roll. Sure, everyone's going to die, but they should at least have a chance to feel like they have a chance. <laughs> That's uh, great. Mr. Al, why not go down fighting? Hashtag re-roll. Dashing CN, hashtag evil and amorphous colorless blob that changes colors to the last tying it engulfs. Size-wise, it's about 10 feet tall and as wide as a mini Cooper. I made it Nyothka, uh, the thing that shouldn't be uh, slash JJ because uh, I just thought that would be fun. Yeah. Uh, he's a weird elder god. He can do what he wants, right? True. <laughs> uh, empty knocked. Uh, adding to Dashing CN's hashtag evil. Thank you guys so much. And then Bradley Burnett came through. Hashtag evil. Finished off that evil blob um, that killed our poor sweet innocent Christian Reitman. Poor oh, guy. He deserved yeah, he probably yeah. deserved it. He, he had it he coming. <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> he ran into my knife. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fantasy hash, uh, uh, hashtag evil finished off that evil gnome king. Uh, as technology 21 hashtag uh, GM. There are other prisoners in this vampire lady. Two really hot redheads that are also vampire hunters, and they seem super into Jake for no particular reason. Ooh. Spring into action All right. uh, to save him. That was great. Um, that was awesome. Spidey fan 001, <laughs> or I'm sorry, uh, Negahama, hungry rollers need hashtag reroll. Spidey fan 001, hashtag reroll. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, Doomsday Danny, a small black ball rolls down next to Alice's feet. As she picks it up, she recognizes it as an ad magic eight ball, but it's old, very old. Weirdly, it seems to point Alice directly where she needs to go, or so, so she thinks. Yeah. That, that was so very helpful. Cool. That, that was cool. awesome. Let me, job, Danny. let me, let me read you guys some options. Oh. Where that, where you could have gone. Oh, yeah. Because there were six doors in the mirrored chamber. Uh, uh, the pumpkin patch. Yep. I went uh, there. Uh, from volume one, an icy wasteland. You could have discovered the first old ones on Earth experimenting on humans in the Arctic, creating the first oh. vampires, werewolves, and enhanced humans. You could have nice. just stopped that from happening. Yeah. Um, a forest with train tracks leading to a covered trestle. That's where you're supposed yeah. to go. Uh, a bizarre, uh, a humble town square built around a simple church where you could have prevented oh. a violent massacre at a oh. wedding. Ah, uh, yes. Um, a lush oh nightclub surrounded by an angry mob holding torches. You could have saved the original Nightingale uh, from being burned down after Volume One. Mm. Uh, oh, wait, so that happened after Volume One. Angry villagers. Yes. So sort of Fine. in between. Uh, that's like why she sort of left to go to New York, oh, or, or like they got this. they got attacked. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Gotta watch uh, out for or a bizarre, robots. almost alien cityscape, the city of Relie, home of Cthulhu. Behold the Elder. Aww. So you could have just uh, met Cthulhu oh, and then immediately died, great. and then we would have just chatted I for think, <laughs> I think I did pretty well then with the doors that yeah, I picked. Yeah, uh, and thank yeah. you, Doomsday Danny, for <laughs> literally being like, let's go that way. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. It was also very really nice worked. to have... Uh, um, What's his name? I just blanked on what his oh, character. Oh, Peter. Peter. I wanted to say Luke, but I was like, that's not right. <laughs> uh, uh, TDN Fantasy, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Fantasy, uh, hashtag NPC, screw it. Put some towards Uber's and poor NPC. <laughs> we didn't quite get there. Nerdy black kid um, uh, uh, brought in Apollonia Wayworth, um, which sort of works, sir, sort of didn't. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, did someone Uber, bring me in Uber without Baldi. my permission? <laughs> uh, Uber Baldi Maybe. said, how about we start a phobia for Alice? Uh, oh. We didn't quite get there. What uh, was it? Uh, it was, uh, uh, there was too much madness enveloping the world. That's, um, that's uh, felt. That's fair. Little Mouse That Jumps, hashtag re-roll. Uh, PR fan 2002, here's a hashtag re-roll. BLJKR, uh, hashtag re-roll, I guess. Um, and wow. I think that might be the one that uh, that saved that, us all. That murdered poor Gordy. And he said so From a certain lightly. point of view. I <laughs> guess. I guess you can just kill this guy. Uh, and that's our show. Thank you guys again Yay. so much for watching, so much for coming out. Thank you guys uh, for coming through and playing the game with me. This was super fun. And uh, thank you guys for just being a really great community. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time when the madness takes us once again. Good night.